Uh, for a rehearsal? <laughs> rehearsal? <laughs> what is that you're saying? What is that you are saying? Ah, uh, Steve. That was back in the LP days, and I listened to Steve Martin records a lot. Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, I had that uh, no. King Tut. Oh, I sure. I had that one, too. Oh, that was a smash hit. Yeah. But uh, let's get small. I mean, it's good comedy, and he yeah. kind of was the first stadium comic. I think so, too. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. And make it great. that big. Yeah, man, he's funny. Yeah. And stadiums, they were like 30,000 people. Have you guys uh, <laughs> seen uh, Only Murders in this building? Not yet. I no. haven't seen it. No. no. But uh, I like he and Martin Short. Yeah. Typically. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, oh. Sweet buttercup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. No, no, Steve Martin. And he's a great banjo player. Because yes. isn't it the Steve Martin brothers that's he on one side is comedy and on the other is his, it's just like this giant belt, Washington State belt buckle. Oh. And it's him with a banjo. Oh, it's great. Oh. Yeah. I know he toured with a band for a little while. I Actually could, had a little right. bluegrass. Yeah, right on. Yeah. No, he's an exceptional. Uh, oh, yeah, no, he's a great. Yeah. yeah. And during have you ever COVID, played banjo? He, I have played. But is I it, tune banjo the same way I tune everything else. Is it a difficult thing to play more so know. than a guitar if, if you're not a finger picker it might okay. be but i think it's a different style of, of playing than playing guitar it, well you can do just like with a ukulele or whatever you can play what you want to play Any but it's not it might not be what's traditionally done on that okay. instrument but yeah no you, and anybody can play whatever they want yeah that's what i say heavy That's metal point. they should be playing heavy <laughs> metal on on the banjo and oh, when maybe, i was maybe. taking sure uh, somebody i'm sure somebody did a banjo I, I, i'd like to uh, see like versions, the doing like sure. the the ding 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 the, ding. the, the finger picking that that uh, van halen did on eruption <laughs> on a I banjo don't know, on a banjo yeah. really tight somebody i don't know somebody can tab it i, I certainly yeah. couldn't but I, uh, I cuz it's that drum head that resonates right yeah, yeah, that's what makes it so bright. Anyway, yeah. Right? It doesn't have the warmth of wood. And right. The more wood, like on a dreadnought guitar or something, the more warm and calm the tone would be. Ding, ding, right? ding. My oh, yeah. big old baby likes to eat <laughs> like to eat. My big old, big old baby likes to eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah just like that. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. That, sounds, that sounds about right. <laughs> that was Stewie in uh, oh, I right. forget what uh, oh, like that episode great. that was. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, Ben's cool though. Yeah, no, I I have one for many years. Actually. Did you? But okay. Yeah, but I tune everything open. So, yeah. and sometimes people, you know, get that. And some other times they don't. So. Nice, dope. Oh, look at that! Right on. There's something. It's coming I through the air. I love this job. Grab it, Mike. Grab it. <laughs> 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 Someday we'll write lyrics to that. And the first lyric will be like, hey, Todd, you let us know uh, when it's uh, time to go. Uh, 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 I'm pretty sure I just did. Yeah. What's up, everybody, and welcome to Our Town a Podcast. It's good to see you. Coming to you from the historic Renton Civic Theater oh, yes. in beautiful downtown Renton, Washington. Heck yeah. And a big welcome to all of our listeners in Indonesia and around the world. Yeah, wonderful. We appreciate yeah. you being yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, no, I appreciate all of you being here. But uh, in, yeah, the distance great, just adds a little, well, just little, a little, a little in more Australia, love. Yeah, yeah, all kinds. Of, yeah, have, that's we, great. We have listeners from all around the world. Yeah, the sun never sets on our town podcast. <laughs> that's what we're yeah. going. That's our new oh, I slogan. It. I love it, and it is on the internet. I mean, you can <laughs> yeah, you know, sure. listen any time <laughs> from anywhere. Yeah. Don't let the great. sun yeah. go down yeah. on me. Yeah, dudes, this is uh, episode thirty-seven. Uh, Which is crazy. Yeah. Crazy, yeah. crazy. It's crazy. gone fast. And I'm did, calling... Did, did you say like 37? 37. Yeah. In a row? Yeah. I think you're right. Yeah. I yeah. mean, we did uh, we did sort of a retro... Yeah. Uh, what do you call it? A rerun episode. Sure. 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 In, you didn't catch that reference? Oh, my God. Oh, uh, oh I didn't. Sorry. <laughs> Are you going to enlighten us? I will, because you guys <laughs> clearly have never seen Clerks. I have seen oh. Clerks. 37 times in a row. Yeah, it's not Jesus. I don't know. Yeah, no, I didn't. So, I've seen yeah, the movie yeah. like there's, thirty times, but okay, it's not. I, I've seen it a bunch of times because I'm a huge fan of his movies. But um, there's a line in the movie where she's he, he's asking uh, her how many how many guys she's been with, and she's like thirty six, thirty six. Well, you're thirty seven. Thirty. I'm thirty seven. 
<laughs> and she and then they have a big fight and she leaves and she's like, my girlfriend, she sucked thirty seven dicks and some guy in the parking lot in a row. Oh, okay, guys. I do remember them arguing about uh, partners <laughs> in yeah. a row. Yeah. Well, uh, speaking of that, Todd, tonight's safe word is uh, for our back to school episode okay, is Mike? protractor. Yeah. I forgot all of that. So if anybody uh, oh, right. oh, geez, <laughs> needs assistance, oh. we need to stop to just yell out protractor. Yeah. Protractor. We'll <laughs> and check on you. I, I, I said prolapse her. <laughs> prolapse. Pro what? Prolapse her. Prolapse her. Okay, no. Protractor, you know, the little uh, yeah. round thing, so the thing for geometry. For, yeah, geometry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's or making it. maps or yeah. something. And I'm calling this the back to school episode because oh, kids check. in Renton are yeah. back to school today. Wow. Uh, be, yeah. If yep. you're watching this a couple of days ago, uh, if you're watching this on Friday, the kids uh, are back in school. Kids are back in school. Oh, man. Um, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to go around the table here, just like we did in 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 grade school, and have the teacher ask what we did on our summer vacation. Oh man. <laughs> I, Todd, what'd you do on your summer break? I, you know, I hung out with these two guys and recorded a podcast. Yeah, gee, oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah that's time well spent, yeah, yeah. young well man. Spent <laughs> you did a lot yeah. of movies this summer, I, right? I, well, I took full advantage of my my Regal Unlimited account, and then and, and, and there was a bunch of movies I wanted to see. So, uh -huh. you know, I I went frequently. In fact, um, I started using Reddit this summer. I, I I have had account for fucking ever, but it just never really bothered to open it up and actually look at shit. But one of the one of the groups or subreddits I follow is is the Regal um, Unlimited thread, and somebody was complaining yesterday about the, there's an ad at the beginning of every movie after the commercials or right before the commercials rather about the Regal Unlimited, where people are walking into the theater and they're just they're quoting famous movie quotes and they were complaining about how oh yeah that's a dumb yeah dumb but, commercial yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a goofy commercial i, I never care i didn't care one way or nothing in it's like uh, it. uh danny trejo uh like, i know it was you fredo because somebody drank all his soda right right uh, yeah. yeah oh the people were complaining that the the the, the 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 quotes being used didn't flow right for the conversation i was like then are they really supposed to be yeah. like a conversation or is it just their random they're just using quotes to kind of and for ads to get free publicity on whether or not they're effective ads is great for being That's an true. ad <laughs> yeah and, uh, and so if it's I, talked about right and, yeah and so i was like you know it doesn't really i mean maybe you're seeing way too many movies if you're gonna complain about this thing that happens at the beginning of every fucking movie a, uh, you know maybe you should take a break and then wait a, you know knowing that the movie is going to be in theaters for Probably a few weeks. You don't have to see it immediately when it comes out. Or right. even if you do, just that's the time when you're on your phone, closing everything out, so that yeah. when the real shit comes up, your phone's not on. Yeah. It's not on no more. Right? And it's like, yeah, that's what that first, yeah. you know, it used to be like three minutes of the movies, and now it's, you know, 20, <laughs> 20 and a half minutes. And, and they so have the but still, that's the way it longer is. preview yeah. thing. They, sure. they did for well, a they, while. Well, they have yeah. the pre-previews, which yeah. is like all the... Uh, the uh, Little cool. mini yeah. interviews. And Plus, stuff movies like that, cost yeah. you know two hundred million dollars to make nowadays. <laughs> yeah. It's like they got, yeah. they want to make sure they're making that. So, back. yeah, and it, running the theater is terribly expensive, mm -hmm. right? I get it. In fact, it's like, expensive, but I don't eat there. Yeah. Yeah. It'll, I was like, you can also just just time <laughs> out how how long uh, the all the ads and everything are beforehand, and just not go in until so. after that. That stupid ads over with. Yeah, right? There's that. And there's a chance yeah, who's I'm gonna miss super the super skinny lady that does. Uh, uh, what? Yeah, she's on one of the preview. She used to do Shazam ads, but she's uh, she's at the movie theaters. Munoz? Oh. Yes. M M uh, yeah, that can't think of her first yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. Maria? Yeah. Maria Munoz? Yeah, I wonder Munoz? if she still got her job. I wonder if she's an actual human. <laughs> no, she, she, I, I'm not she's, AI. She, totally she's, yeah, she's, she's totally not AI. AI. She, Look at her fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see your belly button. <laughs> see if you got yeah, an extra you can, belly button. You can usually yeah. tell someone's an AI character yeah. just by the way they move their face. Ma -ma 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 Max Headroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's supposed to be making a yeah. comeback, too, I wow, think. Wow, wow. Oh. God, I hope not. Yeah. Uh, so what were we talking about? I don't know. Yeah, Todd saw a lot of movies over the weekend. Yeah, Did nice. you, do you have like a favorite summer blockbuster this um, year? Of all the movies I saw this summer, the one I think I, I seen the most was uh, The Flash. Oh, okay. Sorry. I saw that three times. I nice. saw it in three three times in theaters. Uh, because I just hmm. I couldn't get enough of Michael Keaton as Batman. It was Jeez, right it on. was I you know the, was it a great Flash movie? No, not really. 
Was it a decent Batman movie? Yes. No, no. Yeah. Uh, and he uh, did that help you with Easter eggs and such? Were you able to scope Easter eggs easier the second um, time? I think I was more aware of. I, I didn't have to really follow the story. I could just kind of scan the background and stuff. So there was, there really was. The one thing that I rec- I, I noticed and, and was kind of foreshadowing. If you guys, hey, know, no, I haven't seen it yet. So you don't so want. So yeah, no, 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 please. No I swear to God, I will poop my pants. It just came to Max. Yes. It's on oh, did Max. it? All right. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. What was that? It, it just, just came, came to came on Max. It's on Max. Yeah, yeah. It just came out last like last week. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. So uh, you know, once you've watched it, ask me what I saw and see okay. if you recognize okay. it as well, because. Um, there's you know the the main bad guy is is not very apparent right away oh geez all right. so it's batman it's not <laughs> batman <laughs> i'm just kidding um i have no idea but uh yeah it's it's not it's i kind of figured it out but then again i'm it's hamburglar i, I, <laughs> I get always the big time hamburger <laughs> you spend nine years watching the flash tv show you kind of yeah. start like recognizing things and you're geez, like, all right oh, okay cool yeah <laughs> all right all right, well, yeah, uh, Mike. What was your oh. Christmas or Christmas yeah. break? What was your summer, summer break, break like? Did you uh, uh, summer break. Any fun over? I had, I did, I had a lot of fun. So um, saw a bunch of shows, bunches and some bunches of bands. Uh, went did on a couple the, of great hikes. Did the bike thing? Yeah, I've been riding my bike a bunch. Uh, the oh, the dead baby. The, the, yeah. The, oh yeah. Didn't you do the Fremont race too? Oh, you don't think so, no. You didn't do the Not naked Fremont. Fremont bike ride? No, 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 no. No. I, I respect my bicycle too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're friends. <laughs> we really are friends. Wrong bike. No, my bike and I, are, we're cool. We really are. Um, yeah, geez, no, I had a great summer. I guess I worked a bunch. Yeah. So there's something. Um, yeah, I don't know. The podcast's been a highlight, so... Nice. That's nice. Yeah, we did a gong show. That was cool. Gong show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, gong yeah, show man. was awesome. Yeah, highlight yeah. of highlights. Yeah, the only, the only thing better than you know, as far as fun stuff goes for me, than going to shows is putting on shows. It's great. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. a lot of fun. We're Can't wait st- to do it again. Everybody, yeah. five stars that do recommend for all you suckers that didn't come. Yeah. Yeah, you were all like, oh, geez, if only I knew about it. <laughs> yeah, geez. I, well, I, I think maybe we should we should start sooner than we did last time. Yeah, as far we should as should probably start it. planning sometime in yeah. September. No, we got to nail next, Bill in the next down couple of weeks. Schedule with him. Yeah. Or run over Bill and get it. <laughs> something. Take over. Some combination of those words. Yeah. 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 Nice. Then, yeah. yeah what, how about you, man? I, gong show uh, highlight, but uh, had a few little mini adventures. Right. Did the hike up in Mount Rainier, taking pictures of wildflowers oh, yeah. and stuff, which was cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, last Sunday, uh, we took all the kids, uh, Heather, Eli, and uh, my wife and I took all of our kids down to uh, Point Defiance. Right. On. Oh, and uh, we were able to rent those little razor scooters, the little electric scooters, so you can actually oh, sit. All right, sure, sure. And so we just bought around for like two and a half hours and when the scooter started to die we would just we knew where the next ones were parked so we would just whip in swap up keep going and we just we blew around the entire park Jeez. the whole waterfront yeah. of uh of tacoma it was great my just ass was hurting the battery and uh. just leave it yeah just yeah, that, I mean, I that's what you thing. do yeah, yeah that they know to do. come get it yeah. or do whatever I guess, even though it out. i never see anyone come back to get them do, yeah. <laughs> never Wait, do so that's the that's the theory yeah well i yeah. thought i thought they have like a like a thing that like because you're riding it it has uh, an emergency well bigot. it has like a tr- it charges <laughs> uh, itself as you're using it i thought no like i don't know uh, they they wore down so the first yeah. one i jumped on had like i don't know 40 percent we're like okay well we can make it to the next you know parking space got there picked up another one that had 60 percent drove that around for like 45 minutes and then you can check it on your phone it'll tell you it's like 26 percent left and it's like yeah. oh there's you know another parking spot coming up so you go up Jeez, and, it's like geocaching yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah is it like a place where you plug in to try no, you just drop it you just pop the kickstand because up. they oh, do wow. have a rfi or whatever that is that tells a satellite where they're located yeah, right? yeah the gps thing it's not RFI, and then you got to take a picture of it you log out of it and then you take a picture of it and then you're done and they can tell if you're still writing it or whatever but it utilizes gps and probably bluetooth that's pretty cool yeah it was fun it was a good time yeah it was a I think it was forty bucks. 
You just hustle the ladies person. out of the way. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I mean, it was busy down. It was a beautiful. I, I mean, I'm nice right because of yeah, it, but great. it was a beautiful day. But yeah, I mean, you're like having to jump on grass and going around slow walkers and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of the way. Yeah. I mean, we were like our own Tourists little, coming little, through. little bike gang down there. <laughs> yeah, I think that's wonderful. Uh, yeah, it was fun. Huh. So that's yeah. three children total? Three children. And, uh, and they were good at it? Uh, the youngest yeah. one rode with one of their parents. Oh, okay. okay. Um, she yeah. jumped on theirs. And then, uh, yeah, the teenagers were fine. Right they on. had a good time. Jeez, that's great. Yeah. yeah. I got to ride one of those um, one of those Lime bikes when I was over in Spokane. Yeah, I never have. Right on. No, I see them everywhere. <laughs> hey, do they still have those in Seattle? Or yeah. I, yeah, no. I, I got wish them they had them out here. I would, I, would actually, I would actually have one just sitting out in my yard. <laughs> yeah, so you can ride down the hill or whatever if i don't want to drive my car yeah and they're electric oh, yeah. right oh yeah so you can bomb up the hill pretty good i bet I maybe bet could, i mean yeah. it, it I depends on how yeah. strong the engine is and i bet it because could. i'm like I bet it could. 300 pounds you know i don't know how fast it will go with yeah. my my big ass on it but uh, it would be awesome I, and I bet, i'll bet you a dollar it would yeah maybe yeah that helps it might go though. really it really slow <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, they're more powerful than you think they are make it yeah. off me yeah your bit, your butt's too big. <laughs> Get off me, man! No way. That's what machines are for, man. You're supposed what to exercise them. So there's the kids coming in. Oh, that's great. And the wheels are pretty big on those. Yeah, that's they're nice. they're right, right. knobby. So not the little, uh, not like a racer's electric racer yeah. scooter of doom. Yeah, no, that's cool. Little scooter. Huh. With a oh, yeah, little yeah. basket on them. Little basket, so you could put your water and your jacket there. And they had seats, or you could stand. So yeah, yeah my I ass was hurting option, more sure. than Pride '96, so I had to stand up quite a bit. So um, standing room only. Standing room only. Hmm. But yeah, it was it was a good time, guys. Have you ever? Yeah, think and, and, and like it that? looks like because I haven't been there in decades. So I, I, it, oh, they did man. a nice job oh, on it. Right, that whole waterfront yeah, yeah, that used yeah. to be like uh, that nasty soil. It's all like shopping yeah. center down there now. We huh. went down, had uh, fish and chips at a little uh, fish sack, uh -huh. uh, fish shack down there, which was really good. Uh, but tons of restaurants, tons of shops, movie theater down there, lots of Jeez, apartment right. buildings. And, and, all I mean, right all brand waterfront. new stuff? Or is yeah, there brand somewhere? new. Okay. I mean, it's yeah. within the yeah. last five years. Sure. Like, I haven't been down there since uh, Bailey was, you know... 10 or 12 sure. because we would go to the zoo down there all the time Jeez, right on. and then hang out and point defiance just kind of wander around so it's been 10 years I, since i've been down there i think <laughs> the, i i think we went to point defiance once when i was a kid because i remember like yeah. the the old uh nursery rhyme statues they used to have oh geez no i don't yeah, think i've ever uh, been there those. yeah but uh no I've, I've not been down there since i was probably like eight or nine yeah it's a beautiful and it's huge that park has it's all it's like a lincoln park in west seattle or uh what's the one up in magnolia the huge park up there anyway it's one of those huge ass parks that no, you could just get lost either in. one <laughs> you just get lost out there hmm, that's so. neat is it I, you know i wonder if that's just because uh they're too difficult to build on <laughs> or something, right? So, well, it's a ravine, be, Yeah, right? we'll just leave it. Yeah, isn't that park. Schmidt Park in West Seattle that's just like a cool ravine? Is that Schmidt? Oh. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, in uh, Capitol Hill or no, it's West, West Seattle? Seattle? Oh, yeah. I don't know. We had what we called the ravine in on it's Interlaken Park, and it's that windy, curvy road that takes you from Stevens Middle School on Capitol Hill, which is like 19th and Roy. Oh, and you could follow that all the way through down to uh, Seattle Prep uh, down in hmm. uh, what's the neighborhood down there? Lake Ridge? Not Lake Ridge. Uh, no clue. Yeah, whatever that is on the other side. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, yeah, it was uh, Ravenna. Not Ravenna. Hmm. Damn it. Roanoke. No. Jeez, I don't know. It'll come to me. Anyway, yeah. Huh. Uh, very cool time. Uh, like I said, it was about 40, two and a half hours, probably 40 bucks a, a bike. Yeah, that's neat. So it's not too crazy expensive. No, no, no. Yeah. Especially for being able to cover a bunch of distance. Oh, man. And have fun, yeah. right? Yeah, Cause, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can, you know, hop a cab from one destination to another mm -hmm. or you can walk it anyway, but that's kind of the best all world right? yeah and you can still under breathe in the salt air and yeah. cruising around and being in the sun and yeah yeah good times 
Right on. All right. Well, you guys want to jump into some uh, current headlines, stuff that's happening in the crazy world that we What's live in, this blue What's ball that we're floating around. Uh, the big news uh, the last few days has been Hurricane Adalia, right? Idalia? Is that how you say it? Idalia? So, yeah. yeah, I think I, uh, I, I saw I saw a, a stream from ABC today of talking about that. Yeah. The news broadcast on uh, on TikTok, and they were talking about the, the hurricane, hurricane that actually spawned a couple of tornadoes in florida and yeah crazy and, yeah it was and, gonna be uh moving into storm Kentucky. of the century like right storm of a lifetime but right. but it it's, ended up not being it, it it got i think it upgraded is, or is, it, is an upgrade when it goes to tropical storm yeah it went down to tropical storm from hurricane yeah, so, it'd be right? a downgrade, so yeah. it was a downgrade okay. yeah i mean still caused enough yeah. flooding and damage but the other thing is it, it looked like the trajectory was right towards tampa and then it sort of curved up into the armpit yeah. of Isn't florida it, it, it was it's heading not towards very Kentucky, populated i think or, or is it uh, I think. um <laughs> yeah one of the other one, one of the other con- connecting states yeah i don't remember but still storm surge can be a real big deal yeah yeah you know, a lot of flooding depends. a lot of yeah. power outage it's, yeah i mean it depends on where the tide's at at that moment yeah. where it's you know down trees and of course all the pictures i saw of destruction was like you know uh mobile home parks where you know folks are you know probably not having a lot of money right yeah so uh, and, your house yeah, is on well, wheels you can move it you know kind of and they're just a lighter structure <laughs> yeah and even in stick houses don't necessarily do great in high heavy uh wet winds like that no, right? i'll, like, I'll puff and i'll blow your house that is, i mean right? yeah a double the one's definitely not going to hold up to a they're just not built for it, yeah <laughs> yeah but yeah, so uh, hopefully if you're in Florida, everything's good. I did yeah, talk definitely. to my aunt and uncle who live in Orlando, or they live in uh, the lakes, which is about an hour outside of Orlando, and they're like, yeah, we got a little extra wind, a little extra rain, but we're we're good. Sure. Florida's gigantic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. But it, it's, I don't know. Storm surge is, uh, is definitely a thing that is going to be a, a yeah, and factor in so years to come, right? It always has been. Right at sea level, right? So even a, I think a lot of it. two or three yeah. foot surge is really yeah. going to be problematic for a yeah. lot of those coastal regions. Yeah. And it's all water, remember? It's all water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, good. Awesome. Good that it didn't, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Category I'll, five I'll, I'll, uh, Katrina well, right through there, but yeah, which was an anniversary. Of this yeah, place, I have right? that on my oh, oh, history oh, oh, this week. No, oh, but yeah, it was two thousand five. Yeah. Oh, no, it's. I mean, it's a thing. Yeah, atmosphere is crazy. It, it really it's is. crazy because we can look at Jupiter's atmosphere, right? And by this point, we've got cool film of it. It's like, but that's happening all of the time. Yeah, in all atmospheres, in all systems, fluid systems. Right, that's just how that is. Yeah, uh, you know whether it's oceans or lakes or ponds or a bathtub or whatever. All the swirling action that you can see on Jupiter is happening everywhere. That's just yeah how fluids function, right? Yeah. But uh, and there's that one huge storm, yeah, right. That's always there. Yeah, this just never stopped right. in our lifetime. <laughs> no, yeah, it goes. Yeah, for sure. There's been eyeballs on it for like you know 400 years. Right. Right. So, right. Yeah. I don't know some theorize that it is puttering out or whatever. Oh, really? But, yeah. I didn't know. I that. guess time will tell. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, in other news, uh, did you guys, I just saw this come, I think, today that uh, the Biden administration is going to negotiate uh, Medicare costs with uh, drug manufacturers yeah. for like 10 different necessary medications for hmm. people for heart failure, blood clots, diabetes, uh, kidney disease, arthritis, blood cancers, Crohn's disease, and a bunch more. Sure. But they're finally going to go, For hey, chronic conditions. Because that's a lot of money, right? That's yeah, a yeah, shit that's, ton of money. I mean, that's, that's a shit ton of money. But, uh, somebody's yeah, uh, but, but, entire but, check going to pay for... Oh, yeah. So yeah. Yeah, but, but a lot of that, and the problem here is that it goes into excess profits, yeah. right? If these guys weren't greedy pieces of shit, nobody would fucking care, yeah. right? But they're right. just and, and people greedy that pieces of shit don't, don't make a, yeah. don't get a whole lot of money every month. No. I, I I legitimately get about a thousand dollars a month. That's it. That's all I get. So, and, uh, and not just for medical for your that's, life. That's everything. That's everything. Yeah, you know, that ain't much. And your medicine that, has that's come sub, out of that, that's right? Sub, that's, subtract, that's subtracted after they've taken out for insurance and stuff. Yeah. I get a little bit more if I didn't have to pay for that. So. Right. Yeah, I just see. Not yeah, much I, more, but still. I get it. These guys, you know, these companies yeah. throw millions of dollars into research and all that stuff. But. Oh, sure, sure, sure. And, I, and the profit what, motive is a thing, right? Yeah. 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 
capitalism done right, but if yeah, you but it, it, abuse it, 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 yeah, yeah, like it, anything it, else, it, 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 it waste, fraud, and abuse are what piss people off. It costs them less than a right? dollar to like uh, manufacture a lot of the drugs, and yeah, they at this point, turn around and sell at them for hundreds of dollars. Had to have made up the money that they put into the research for it, right? Well, yeah. didn't that guy who like bought up the rights to like the di- uh, not diabetes? Yeah, it was di- like insulin. He 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 was he, yeah the the guy who bought the Wu Tang album or whatever. His, uh, his name's that, like Skrillex, but it's not as cool as Skrillex. Was that, that guy? Uh, but no, he he bought like he Pharma bro. He, 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 Pharma he bro. bought the pharmacy <laughs> and then he jacked up the price yeah. from thirty five dollars to like two hundred dollars. Was it was it uh, insulin or it was, was it like EpiPen? It was insulin. Was it insulin? It was oh, insulin. It's insane. Yeah, it was like. But uh, I mean, I don't know why we don't just have a fucking nationalized factory to do some of this shit. Right. right? It's like stuff that is chronic. And and I mean diabetes until we get it's gone. It's it's right, but it's like yeah, like I, back when tuberculosis was a problem, those weren't all for profit sanitariums, right. right? It's like the state has to fucking do shit like that, right? And it's like I don't know. I'm not against nationalizing some uh, industries, right? I, that, that puts me, you know. That I'm not invited to many parties, oh, I, I, <laughs> but, people but uh, like, no, especially was, people are being fuckers about it. But things that are are for you know just like energy production, etc. All that is necessary for the function of the citizenry in yeah. the civilization, right? Of course, that's a part of our that, that's part of our responsibility. You know what I mean? It's a, yeah, I, I don't even I don't see the argument with that. Yeah, I'm a huge proponent of you know one payer, single payer, sure. Uh, sure. Medicaid in this country. I mean, it's yeah, cool. and and it's not like the and that's not the same as like the VA is the VA uh, is the doctors is everything right and the British system is that way right where it's yeah. you don't have a choice of doctors well, blah 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 blah. The I, reason, well, the thing is, but it, like it just it takes the payment part out of it, right? Right? And yeah. It's like well, what's going on is every time we try to like you know get and. Uh, insurance for everybody or like medicine for everybody they they the republicans go that's socialism no we're not having that it's like that's not the same thing as i mean not really anyway the, is the even if it is so what so what it's not that's not bad it's, it's then that then that portion of, of socialism is a good idea i don't right? disagree that with that, that but they're like people are going to abuse this it's like they're already yeah so yeah <laughs> we'll but come. i think medicare uh, has like a three percent overhead. Yeah, right. Something ridiculous. Something dumb. And 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 uh, and the and the fraud rate is not the fraud rate's on the other side. Right. 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 It's not on the it's person on the benefiting side. from it. it. Exactly. It's on the shenanigans on the other side. It's yeah. like I'm getting too much diabetes care. Right. It said nobody <laughs> ever. Right. Right. That's yeah. not a thing. Yeah, yeah, it's like, but yeah. the you know, but the greedy people on you know whichever side of it, the, the, no. those are the bad players. Yeah, and then you right? get you know these folks that like show their hospital bill, and they're charged like. You know, three hundred fifty dollars because a nurse brought their newborn baby over for you to hold them in the hospital, right? Sure, sure, There's sure. an extra charge yeah. for this. This is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, I'd, it, yeah. absolutely. literally yeah. nickel it, and it dime people that way. But I, but I don't always, I don't always know, yep. right? Because does that mean that her union says that whenever you touch an infant, right, the L and I costs go up fucking astronomically every time you touch a baby? I yeah. don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe every time I touch a ladder. My L and I costs go way up. Oh, does it? Really? If I even look at ladder. I don't. Even, I don't remember that when yeah. I had to do that. But. Yeah, no. By every hour, I'm supposed really? to. Really? Yeah. Uh, I mean, maybe, I do maybe, diligently. <laughs> maybe general contractor yeah. was different then because I was just a low voltage yeah, contractor. No, yeah, I'm supposed to pay more per hour. If my guys, especially whoever's yeah, on, yeah. covered for a work, for a workman's yeah. compensation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, and whenever there's a hazard, yeah. right? But there's a bunch of them, like driving, and you know that they don't really look at. It. It's like that's where your injuries happen, right? Right. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. If anybody talks about, uh, you know, socialism, Todd, and then they complain about, you know, one payer system takes us socialism, just point them to the last bank we just bailed out in taxpayer oh, money. Sure, you know. Yeah. yeah. Well, the problem oh, is, yeah. is, I don't, I don't, big I don't pay close enough attention to a lot of this stuff, so I don't really know that much. I know enough to know that what they're saying is absolute horseshit. No, yeah. but I, I think that our health is part of our commonwealth. Yeah. Right. Part of the because uh, uh, right, just like schools and all these kinds of things, it's like you know, uh, 
uh, educated, healthy citizenry is right. best for the country. Well, that's and, a no-brainer. And creating healthy society is going to get folks off of disability, right? No, no, Not I, everybody, I, sure, but sure, sure. but. I would. Certain, if, you, if you have healthy symptoms to begin yes. with, you can avoid some right. Right, some health issues. Yeah, I suppose. I'm, I don't know the stats on that, but that yeah, makes yeah. sense. Right? Uh, yeah, and it's just the fucking what civilization should be moving towards. Right. Right? As we work through uh, times of toil, right? Because compared to yesteryear, right, except for in Darfur and places where people are still toiling terribly, right? right? I don't mean to point to Darfur, but you know what I mean. It's like there's still plenty of toil in the world, right. but it's not the way it has to be. We have options now, right? And, we, and our allowance for others to suffer under toil is is an allowance, yeah, right. But for the most of human history, that wasn't the case, yeah. Right? If we we're going to have a civilization doing air quotes here, uh, it took a lot of work of you know poor people <laughs> mostly, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know, but I think that's the goal, right? For humans to move towards a better life, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean. Yeah, and that's and kind life, of that's one of the ingredients to do it. So, yes. Right? So, uh, the, uh, speaking of uh, health issues, and I didn't put these on the show sheet, but two uh, two major players in politics both have huge health uh, issues right now. Uh, Steve Scalise, I don't know if you saw this, the hmm. uh, House Majority Leader, not yeah. the Speaker of the House, but the House Majority Leader, has blood cancer. And what the fuck is blood cancer? Yeah, I don't know, man. It sounds... F- it's cancer <laughs> that attacks <laughs> blood, Mike. Jesus. It's crazy, right? right? That's hard. But Scalise dude. was the guy that got shot, got shot. at that yeah, uh, yeah, baseball yeah. game a few <laughs> years back. But he's also been the man. one that's what been so resistant to to yeah. like the ACA and, and Obamacare oh, yeah, and all that yeah. stuff. But uh, I bet he's and, got and great health care. Yeah, oh, yeah. He's yeah. got great health care. Great. He's yeah, got the best yeah, health care. I don't know. But the, and, and to be against that stuff is just to be working uh, for the efficiency, air quotes again, yeah. of the very, very few. Well, we right? have that a camera of, there, Mike. You can oh, actually sure. do oh, the Oh, yeah, air yeah, air quotes. Uh, because it's not efficient. That that mindset is not efficient. Uh, just to hand profits to giant corporations, right? Yeah. Whether they're you know medical providers, insurance providers. It's mostly insurance providers, but the medical providers have also gotten bit by the same bug, right? right. Like, yeah, that's not a better system. No, it's just not. The the results aren't better, and the the outcomes aren't better, and it it just exacerbates the whole. It's just dumb. Yeah. And we can do better. And then you guys remember uh, a few weeks ago when uh, Mitch McConnell was... Uh, he had another one today. He had another also one Also another guy with great socialized health care. Yes. Fucking fantastic yes. socialized health care. He should be forced yeah. to resign yes. because... No, clearly... there, well, there's no me- there is mechanism for that, actually. Yeah. But they're he's, not going to do it. He's, so I'd be he's, shocked. I'd be he, shocked. Who he, would take over for him? Who's his heir apparent there? I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. But he, he's clearly not all there. And you know, the, I watched the clip today. He was just like... I was like, did you hear the question? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, rough. Rough. Just deer in and the Dianne headlights. Dianne Feinstein. Man. I mean, he was, Feinstein needs he, to he's, retire. He's, yeah. like, he's like that, he's like that grandpa that, who's like s- sitting at the end of the of the dinner table drooling on himself, waiting for someone to put food in his mouth. Sure. Yeah, it's it, for me, it's like you're there to do a specific job. And uh, in the case of Diane Feinstein, she was absent for a yeah. ton of so uh, votes and stuff. You're not capable of doing her job? You're not capable right. of doing your job? Yeah. yeah. Step aside. Yeah. I think no, I Feinstein is safe as hell because... Uh, 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 what's his face? Uh, Gavin. Would, no. Oh, Gavin Newsom. Would, he would. Yeah. I think he would, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would he would point. pick. Yeah, yeah. And California is not going to go red in their senatorial. Her, yeah. But no, um, no. and I, I, I would think Mitch McConnell, same thing. I mean, uh, it, although Maybe. it is a, uh, popular, a yeah. Democrat in Kentucky, it, at this so. point, he's legitimately a oh, muppet. Yeah. He's yeah, being yeah, controlled that's by exactly, people around yeah. him. You know, he's. But that's typically if they die. I don't know if that happens if they retire. Right, is retirement the same? I don't know. And maybe you still have to be appointed, right? Uh, he's would, he's, he's going to like he's gonna, he. I don't mean to make a joke out of this, but he's going to die like on in front of the cameras and talking to people. He just yeah. I mean, I don't know out. what his what his issue is. I don't know if it's strokes or something else, but it know. did not. Maybe look he's good. just he's, sick of everybody's he's, shit. He's, he, <laughs> he just fucking disassociates mid conversation. Like, I'm out of here. Done. 
I don't want to do this. Or it's his fucking lizard brain, right? Isn't that the amygdala or whatever? It's just like yeah. taking control again. He's, he's like, are, are you are you saying he's a lizard to go out in the sun dudes. for about ten minutes? <laughs> Mike, are you <laughs> saying he's a lizard person? <laughs> well, we all are, right? Our our brainstem is the lizard brain, right? But but I, typically I, we have a developed frontal lobe when we're loved and can breastfeed I, and shit. You I, know? Was, I was like referring this to the, right? the conspiracy yeah. theory that oh, sure. people the reptilians, are, the reptilians, the reptilians and stuff, yeah. I but read a lot of David Icke, actually, a lot. Did you guys? Did you guys look at that Back link? That I, days, I, I texted you guys earlier. The the wa hyphen wd dot com. It's basically who's alive and who's. who's oh, I didn't. Look, I opened it up, but I didn't uh, hmm. delve into it. It's basically a website that like chronicles whoever you know, celebrities of any kind passing away and puts oh. the date and time and all that oh, shit. Okay. All right. Nice. Yeah. Are we on there? <coughs> yeah. No, no. Paul Parker. <laughs> da, da, da. Well, Bob Barker's the most recent one. Well, speaking of celebrity oh. deaths, oh, yeah, Bob Barker passed away uh, since, okay, uh, yeah, since yeah, we've yeah, seen yeah. you last. Uh, yeah. Darrington's most famous uh, resident or uh, uh, son of Darrington, I guess. I uh, did not know that. Yeah. Oh, geez. And he just seemed, you know, yeah, the seemed like fun, a decent classy guy. grandpa, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Unless unless he's hanging out with Adam Sandler, then he's like oh, no, beating crap. Yeah. Uh, Did they Adam ever Sandler. do a part, Price you know, uh, uh, latter years reunion for they that or anything? They did, actually. Oh, There's a video right. of, of, yeah. of Sandler yeah. visiting him in the hospital. Oh, that. And, and huh. <laughs> they had this whole routine where, you know, Barker is just talking all kinds of shit to <laughs> Sandler. It's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, nice. you go onto YouTube and search for. I mean, you're on That's YouTube great. right now if you're watching this, but yeah, just search for Bob Barker, Adam Sandler. You know, from yeah, I think Cl 2015. Yeah. I think it was. Yeah, Climber was on Bob Barker. You, yeah, you yeah. mentioned this. Yeah. No, she she didn't got get, a thing. She didn't get she, up, that right? gonna, She just got to the, the to the front. Where I you, believe that to be true. Yeah. Okay. Bip, bip, bip. No, she didn't spin the wheel. I don't think. Yeah. Geez, I didn't ask. Yeah. There's so many questions. Oh, She's and, such a mystery. And all of the, all of the jokes <laughs> You've about You've only him. known her for 20 <laughs> years. Right? Yeah. Have you guys seen any of in, any of the memes about Bob Barker almost yeah, getting 100? Yeah. You but know, not going over. Yeah, no, going it's over. great. It's yeah. great. No, yeah, and Mary in particular. Is the, the, the best one, and I posted it to our Facebook page, was the, uh, the guy said that, you know, Bob Barker didn't quite make it to 100. Betty, Betty White was closer to to the, the dollar or whatever it was. Oh, sure. Man. Ah, Betty. Betty. You know, I like you know when Betty passed, and even previously, uh, there was a bunch of photos of her as a young person. Yeah, she was doing all sorts of gorgeous. cool shit, but it's like I haven't yet seen any early Bob Barker photos. Yeah. But I bet he was a tall, classy kid, right? Yeah. Seems like. I mean, yeah, he uh, was Navy uh, right around. I don't know if he was in World War II, but it was right around that time. And then when he got out of the Navy, he got into went to Florida, got into uh, radio, and then uh, that launched him into. Uh, uh, the television and he did uh, a show for 18 years oh. uh, Truth or Consequences huh. I believe and then in 72 took over the prices right for another 30 Jeez. something years right so yeah, I don't what, know. A, steady, what a career steady check yeah, yeah. that's great yeah. and his what's his real name Bob Barker do you know yeah I think so yeah Robert Quincy Bar <laughs> something Barker like that, something yeah. and he released a Travis Barker <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Just, huh? Probably. Distant, uh, probably, yeah. Who knows? ancestors. And then uh, Todd would know more about this person. Uh, I'm sure I've heard her voice in several things, but Arlene uh, Sorkin passed yeah. away. She, just uh, like yesterday, uh, day before yesterday, I think. Yeah. Voice of uh, Harley Quinn. She, was, oh. she wasn't just the, the original voice, but she was the inspiration for the character. Oh, okay. Like uh, her and Paul Dini were, were friends. And oh, I didn't know that. He was working on script for the an oh, yeah. Batman the animated series and uh she came over to help him with some characters and stuff and yeah harley's uh paul dini invention it's yeah, great paul dini and, and yeah. bruce tim yeah but uh uh she uh she she did a character on like all my children or something where there was like a she was having a fever dream or some sort of drug-induced dream sequence or whatever and she's in a in like a harley quinn costume oh. and she's huh. doing that new york accent and the whole thing the whole okay, thing so yeah. but and the he, same actress same actress oh, that's and, she, a and, and they, he saw that clip and goes you know we can work with that and you know yeah, if you want to do the joker's the, girlfriend you, you want to do idea. and she initially she was just going to be his hench, hench woman he wasn't she wasn't int intended to be his girlfriend Mr. J. yeah but then she was dr harlan quinlan or yeah. whatever yeah. Right. Har Harleen, psychologist yeah. harleen quinzel yeah and she was a psychiatrist yeah you know? 
Yeah. Oh, Mr. J. Oh, it's yeah. great. <laughs> and but then she just gets a psychotic break. Like, she was uh, also, I think, great. on. Um, and then she gets super powered through uh, Ivy. Ivy superpowers her. So I she, think so. Yeah. She is a meta. Oh. People and forget. Well, at some point she beca- <laughs> in the comics probably. I don't know. I've never yes. seen her have those yeah. powers in any of the animated stuff. But uh, um, yeah, all the people involved with with Batman the animated series and anybody who's ever worked on on you know DC animation. You know, you know whether it be um, Tara Strong who took over the job as Harley Quinn's voice after Arlene retired the character, and then other people have all said, you know, she's going to be missed. And How old was Arlene? She was in her late sixties. She was like sixty-seven. No, too young. Yeah. Uh, what else would we recognize her? You said there was a soap opera she was on. She was in soap operas, and and she was. Did you guys ever watch like America's Funniest Animals with Dave Coulier? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. She was like like the sidekick to Dave oh. Coulier. Hmm. I don't remember her, but I'll might yeah. have to. And, and I don't. I, isn't That's, Dave Coulier the bad guy for, in a. Uh, Alanis Morissette's life. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. She, she, I don't. I could not eyeball that guy if I saw him on. Like I, Roman Polanski, and I'm eyeballing you, motherfucker. Did you ever? Um, did you ever? Watch I wouldn't be him? able to. I wouldn't know that guy. In Uncle Joey. Uh, he wasn't uncle, but he was like best friend of yeah. Bob Saget's character on Full House. I've never seen uh, Full House. Okay. I know what you really? mean. Yeah. No. Wow, because that's, that's the a, twins. And, it was a great uh, was that John Stamos? Also? John yeah. Stamos. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Uncle Jesse. No, I've never yeah. seen. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I remember that being a thing. Yeah. He, I'm he, sure he, I read a Mad Magazine. He, he also there. had a show on Nickelodeon <laughs> in, the, in the 80s where he coined the phrase, cut it out. Nice. Hmm. All right. Uh, yeah. Just picture but am I supposed uh, to be mad at hockey, him? Oh. hockey hair, bright, colorful uh, button-up shirt, and acid-washed jeans. Huh? Yeah, pretty much. And, and that sneakers, and you yeah. pretty much. And he's always doing he's like right. impressions and shit. I mean, yeah. he was really. He actually is very good at impressions. Oh. But uh, he actually, he was actually the one who took over the voice of Peter Venkman on the real Ghostbusters when, when. Uh, when Bill Murray complained that the character, the guy who's voicing my guy, sounds like Garfield, uh, <laughs> it's because he was. Uh, nice. So they, they, it was the guy doing Garfield. That's yeah, funny. Yeah. All right. Uh, and which is even which is even funnier is because like on, thirty Bill. years Everybody's later, work, he, he, Bill. Right. Bill Murray did the voice of Garfield in the live action movie, which in itself yeah. was very funny to yeah. me, which but, I never saw. I, I, I watched like five yeah. minutes of it. And it was Garfield it was movie. okay, but it wasn't it wasn't nearly as funny as the lasagna. Yeah, yeah. Um, Osmosis Jones. I've seen oh, that a few right. times. Yeah, because yeah. Bill Murray's the guy eating all the gross. He's the dude that's yeah. all snotty the and everything. Yeah. Yeah. You only see him in the first five yeah. minutes of the movie, oh, but yeah, great. Uh, yeah. Uh, also, uh, Joe the Plumber died. Does everybody remember Joe the Plumber? So Joe the Plumber came about in 2008. Wasn't um, he like a, a politician or some shit? N- well, what he did is he questioned Obama somewhere, and then uh, Palin grabbed him up and created this persona of Joe the Plumber as a every guy, every man, uh, hardworking right. guy for the 2008 with John McCain. And it turned out the guy wasn't a plumber, well, oh. probably wasn't oh. really anything. He may have been a plumber in a past life or something but they they really used him to uh try to take obama down a few notches of course obama won his second term and joe went off into yeah because i think he did like a talk show for a little while sarah palin oh my god (laughs) what the fuck sarah palin is palin gone now Uh, she'll pop up still she popped up the other day when they were uh charging uh trump but she doesn't have any like real I, I don't think she has a talk show. I don't think she's yeah, well, elected yeah. anything. I think she ran for governor of Alaska while, yeah. again. And, yeah. Oh my God, she, you know, her star needs to set. Is sad. <laughs> set that go off into a blue yeah. Although she's still one, you know, milf. I'd love to uh, angry. No, yeah. no, <laughs> not the voice. Right, no, but just, yeah. no oh, Charles, man. did you not put your dick yeah, in crazy? Might be, yeah, you don't yeah. put your dick <laughs> well, in crazy. Of course, Todd, 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 Todd. Do what? <laughs> You don't put your dick in crazy. Of course you do. Of course you but do. only in a foreign country or somewhere you can run. Somewhere well, you can unass yeah. yourself you from. Because you got to ex- you got to ex- 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 if, if you're gonna if you're gonna go the route of like <laughs> hit it and quit it, then sure, go ahead. But if you're no, no. oh no, there's no relationship there. It's just a quick angry yeah, fuck, and I'm out. Angry, yeah. <laughs> Medicare, Medicare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding, honey. Who uh, yeah, no, this is. 
is comedy. My best comedy. impression of uh, Todd. Heston. You sent us an article. You posted an article about the uh, Bermuda Triangle mystery solved. Can oh, you it's about time. Yeah. 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 Well, I thought what we did. Uh, didn't we have? We a, did. That was we like talked about, about it. Solved. three yeah. weeks yeah. ago. I think yeah. I sent. We that. decided it was uh, Cthulhu farts or something, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which I mean, Cthulhu. if you think about it, yeah. think about it, people. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't remember what that thing was. It was, it was, it was like, like a legit science thing. It was oh. like a, a, a methane or some shit. I don't oh, remember. geez, because that was my thing. Yeah. Remember that? Because I love the idea of giant said, earth, like earth farts. Yeah, Cthulhu farts. Yeah, Cthulhu farts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, he's just in a bathtub, right? To that yeah. guy, so he's yeah. just farting in the tub. Has there been a Bermuda Triangle mystery in the last? 10 or 15, 20 years? Has anybody well, disappeared we, uh, that we know of? The, yeah. the, the last, ships too. The last yeah. one I remember um, being talked about was the guy who uh, who flew across Florida in like half an hour or some shit like that. And it, it happened, I think, in like the mid to late 90s. It was like a time warp thing? Yeah, he, like, oh. he, he flew into a, electric clouds, air quotes, folks, if you're not watching, um, and like... In the time he was in there, he went from the coast to like the midway part of the of the state. Yeah. So he flew across. Yeah, he just yeah. took a quick nap. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He pulled a McConnell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm out of here. They, they, Later. They interviewed the, they interviewed the guy on Ancient Aliens a few times. Uh-huh. And each time it's yeah. the same story. They show the same graphic and everything of like sure. electricity and. and yeah, I do that every time I drive home. They're like just fucking. Do, all of a sudden, you're fucking you're forty minutes yeah. into it. You're like, what the fuck? Uh, Where have I been? And it wasn't just like he fell asleep. He legit flew a distance that's yeah. not possible in, yeah, in 30 minutes sure, sure, sure. so so you thought it was some kind of wormhole or something yeah, yeah that's what they were trying to explain it is like it's some sort of like you know time dilation or, <laughs> did, you know, did his wormhole. anus hurt <laughs> <laughs> A, a little at With first. Yeah, along the way. That, that, re, that yeah. reminds that reminds me of a really bad joke. Uh, uh, he, this guy was this guy was gonna jump off a, yeah. off a, the, the the skyscraper and, oh. and and then somebody comes up to negotiate with him. He's like, "Well, um, wait, it wasn't negotiation of, of any kind. He, the guy was being threatened to jump off. If he you know if he didn't jump off, he was gonna get he was gonna get you know, anally you know whatever. So he goes." Well, did you jump? He's like, a little at first. <laughs> nice. There's that Dana Gould on his album, uh, Fun House, where he's talking about, you know, when alien abduction happened, it's never a <laughs> physicist from the Netherlands. It's never a friggin' <laughs> astronomy professor That's, from Berlin. It's always some dumb fuck in the middle of Kentucky that gets abducted. That's not necessarily true. Right. That's not necessarily it's like, true. I got abducted and anally yeah. probed. <laughs> it's just it's just the ones who, who actually will get on camera and talk about it are the ones who are uneducated <laughs> I've, I've i've read articles where people who were like you know not you know jim bob from sure, the sure, trailer sure. park oh, their yeah. alien language sounded like duke when he's <laughs> giggling <laughs> <laughs> you know in john lear there's a lot of actual real yeah. Yeah. like pilots well, at least ufos and ufos yeah. imply something right i don't yeah. know what but uh, the, I don't really get the whole anal probing thing. I don't. <laughs> like, well, Not really. That's, I still think the best the so, best yeah. line in reference to that is in the movie. Paul is like, "What are we harvesting farts?" <laughs> you know, it's like yeah. uh, what, what, again with the Dana Gould. It's like uh, they're the advanced species, right? They got here before we got there. It's like we've conquered the uh, <laughs> yeah interstellar travel, interstellar and shit, travel, but, uh, but the a little anal curious cavity about that of waste. the human yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. beings. Well, I, I, I think I think I think what can explain I, I think what can explain the anal probing is is like when when we're like when we're tagging and following you know, cows and cows. Yeah, yeah, but why like would they just tag us? Yeah, why don't they just end up with an extra yeah. earring? Yeah. Well, yeah. Maybe maybe, yeah. maybe their probe actually has like sensors or something that like gauges Maybe. shit Spots. well i guess I they know. could tell what you ate yeah. <laughs> i mean literally it would gauge yeah. shit but i would also imagine it, it, gauges you know, other it says a lot body. i mean if you go to a doctor a great lab to yeah. do yeah. i mean it's poop right it's, you can tell all sorts of shit. it's either it's yeah. either up through the ass or down through the mouth yeah. and which one do you think is going to have the most problem <laughs> yeah but why would they care 
Yeah. Why would they yeah. care? Oh, they were why, just why, next why, to them. Why do we? Why yeah. do we tag wool, uh, whales and shit? Because we live here and we're curious. Species, yeah, maybe they right? li- maybe they live close by and they're curious. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know because they could just make some of us. I would think. Tagging if you've got interstellar other predators shit, can you come can back. Do, you could yeah. just make shit. I think. Yeah. I think yeah. the the one big technological step is uh, just like a hydrogen forge. Right. You, you just have a tank of hydrogen. You just print whatever the fuck you want because everything's basically hydrogen anyway. Right? Did you guys see that link from to Collider that I sent you about uh, the the possibility of Goonies two ever happening? Oh, uh, I didn't read it, but I saw you. It was basically uh, like five, six years ago, like like a couple of years before Donner passed away, that they were talking about maybe doing the sequel finally, and like no, it's Goonies, a Richard Donner film. Yeah, I guess yeah. I did. I did. Yeah. Not know. and uh, I mean, Donner did all of my favorite movies as a kid, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. But, anyways, uh, they were talking about doing a a, a sequel, like you know, thirty plus years later. <laughs> And uh, you know, it was going to be like all the all the kids from the original movie were going to come back as you know, fifty something year old, forty something year old people, and the, and mm. the story I guess was going to be about their kids going back to the Goondocks, and that mm. was that was the thing I heard, and I was like, okay, that'd be cool. I would love to see that, and it just one thing after another, just like if schedules didn't line up or um, Donner decided to do. Did they have a story? Did they have a script and everything, or? From the article here, it says they had lots of scripts, but none of them were that well written, yeah. or they weren't that great, so they didn't want to proceed with that script. Okay. So, but yeah, it sounded like everybody who was involved was interested in coming back. Yeah, because all the the only people that weren't in, that weren't interested in coming back were the producers and the director. Oh, uh, so huh. it's like Spielberg and Donner. Donner was okay with it, but Spielberg wasn't interested. That's uh, Brolin, Feldman, uh, Key, uh, Key Con, Key Con, or Quinn, or uh, I can't remember. And the gals. Jonathan was, uh, is what his American name was. Martha, what's her Plimpton? name? Plimpton. Plimpton, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sean Astin. Sean Astin. And uh, what was the, what, the cute brand. girl or whatever, the popular uh, girl? Carrie Kelly, I think. Yeah. Something like that. Yes. Yeah, they're all still around. They're all, they're, they're, yeah, I mean, I've the youngest seen. of them is in their 50s. Right. So, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, Sean Astin just had his birthday and he turned 51. So Right on. You oh, that guy, he's doing fine. Samwise Gamgee. Samwise Gamgee. Yeah. Um, speaking of mysteries, though, I read an article uh, earlier this week about a wolf man that was spotted okay. in Germany, um, and people took pictures of him. Uh, <laughs> dirty, hairy guy with kind of a long stick, almost like a spear, um, and he was picking up rocks, and he was beating on other rocks, and, and uh, oh, two guys that were there, they photographed him, and they said they you know, had a sort of a staring contest with the guy for like 10 minutes, and it happened in the Harz Mountain region. Um, kind of sounds a, like a mental patient, <laughs> right, is it, all it, I'm thinking. It, it sounds like, like a I think he's off me- his meds. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe. yeah, poor guy. It sounds like or he's living out his best life. Right? Someone <laughs> living off the grid who <laughs> just <laughs> didn't, yeah. doesn't give a fuck about how he looks anymore but i would think he wouldn't be around there's plenty of like wilderness yeah right in in germany and i actually, looked that up so. and it's like central germany and it's a beautiful beautiful forest yeah. but it's huge it's yeah, just yeah, a yeah. massive oh, he could have just yeah, forested remember, region. Right after the second world war there were dudes like living you know I mean, in guam and shit for yeah. years yeah. There's, you know what i mean it's like it happens there's people a, there, there's get a, out but you don't typically run across them because they're right. anti-social by definition there, there's a a, a, uh, a a native tribe up in BC that uh, that part of their you know uh, becoming a man they have a thing where their their teenage you know the teenager who's wanting to be a, are becoming a man they they spend a year out in the wilderness and by themselves uh, by themselves what yeah. no yeah no he must they die. they li- they live in the woods. In in British Columbia, in, in the mountains of British Columbia, by themselves, and and and, and how I heard about this was it was of watching uh, ancient aliens, and they were talking about Sasquatch. For a single human, to- and they they said part of the reason why they think people are we're seeing lots of Sasquatch in the Pacific Northwest is because of these these kids who would like, seventeen eighteen years old would go live in the in in the woods and in, in the forest for a year and. 
you know, you, you don't shave, you don't probably don't wash yourself if you're out in, out in the wilderness by yourself, you know. Hmm. Yeah. So. Crazy. So I don't know. Uh, people are saying, no, it's a hoax, and these guys set it up. Some people say, like Mike suggested, it's just some guy that, you know, wants to be alone. It, it, <laughs> just it, it out there by himself, just, you know. I mean, it, honestly, I think it's just someone who's wanting to live off the grid and yeah. doesn't Could care be. about how, how he looks. Well, it would be nice to if somebody asked him. Yeah, asked him instead yeah. of just staring at him like, <laughs> yeah. dude, are you, hey, are you yeah. good? Are you Can like, I call hey, somebody dude? for you? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I think bus, they're, probably, ticket. they're probably scared of the guy. They don't want to, they don't want to get too close because they don't know if he's wild he's people are playing by the same yeah, rules that's a, that he's saying out loud at that he's not playing by the same rules right yeah yeah that's what face tattoos used to mean yeah <laughs> now just so if i go fashion. missing i'll be in the hearts <laughs> reach yeah, out oh, man I, that, but I, I think you couldn't do better than the no. west like bc on down yeah gonna, right gonna go oh, back yeah. to the, the, the mountains oh near omac and just <laughs> live it's out easier on this side of the mountains man that's yeah. how the man you'll die of exposure yeah. Oh, yeah. a single human being living by themselves without the infrastructure that a collective yeah, I, I, yeah, human can do oh, i don't even it. know really I, I, I don't think i don't know if they're like sent out there with like 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 bear, bear gorillas or whatever and, and have like mount, sure. mountaineering kind of gear or whatever, or whatever. Yeah. or if they're just sent out there with a t-shirt and, and a pair of jeans or whatever so, what so this is are you saying this is modern times this is done in the last you know 50 years or something like that no. yeah jeez i have no idea That's what was that cat per per what was the, the the dude that built the cabin he was always on pbs he oh, built he the cabin up in oh Alaska. yeah dick bronicky Bronicky. Oh, he's yeah, unreal. Yeah, yeah. That guy was... That yeah, was awesome. Yeah. Took the game. And it's supposedly but it was, but he was, was also, out there for like 20 or 30 yeah, years. Yeah, and it took many years to build. Yeah. It. Like not, he didn't just throw that up. Throw it in a weekend and I'm good to go. <laughs> he probably had to travel back, back to the up. Yeah, but it's amazing. He did yeah. a great job. And they did airlift food in. But he was way the fuck up there, right? That's... I don't know. Western Washington's very gentle. Yeah. This is a great place. Compared to, to like, like Eastern Washington or anywhere oh, else. Yeah. Or oh, Alaska. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because it's a shorter growing season up there, too, right? right? And you yeah, can it's grow, hard to grow. You can grow fruit in Eastern Washington. Right. Right. A lot of it. Yeah. Right. But, uh, it's hard to pull that off in Alaska, no, right? I you, bet there's some Maybe onions, there. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, some root stuff. Root I bet there's vegetables. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, every, as shitty as it gets in Alaska, Romania just giggles. <laughs> giggles. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, you think so, huh? <laughs> <laughs> just cold, just to be mean. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, and, but they and, grow plenty of food over there. And I just, I just posted both of those links I talked about um, on the Facebook page. Oh, hey. People want to check it out. Nice. That's fantastic. Well, uh, guys, this week in history, uh, lots of events, man. Every week we got something crazy yeah. happen. Uh, 1939, Germany invade, invaded Poland, uh, which basically kicked off World War II, right? Because didn't wasn't the invade or was it Czechoslovakia? Was it? I think it was Poland that brought uh, France and England into the war, right? Sure. Oh yeah, no, that was definitely 39. the start of it. Yeah, oh, for, sure. for yeah. sure. Yeah. I guess yeah, because I mean, unless you want to see the annexation of Austria or whatever. Yeah. But, uh, no, definitely, because that was an invasion of a sovereign nation, and, that, and I think, who was uh, not ready for it, because they had lied and lied and lied right. and lied and lied, right? Right, and then, uh, yeah, no, they still had like cavalry, right? They were still fighting yeah. the First World War, man. Coming Poland was with in, tanks, tanks fighting, and shit. It was fucking awful. Yeah. It was awful. Yeah, I think that uh, didn't the UK and uh, France have some kind of agreement with Poland? And that's what really kind of brought them in, or did they just say no? Yeah, I don't know. I can't, going too great. I can't yeah. remember. Yeah. Anyway, 1939, 1955, oh. Emmett Till was murdered oh, this week. Um, and if you guys haven't seen it, there's a movie called Till that came out, I think, last year, maybe the year before. I, yeah, I, I think recently. Really good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really Really good movie. Um, basically, a uh, young kid came down from Chicago to, uh, what was it, Mississippi um, or Alabama? Um, yeah, it was Alabama. And uh, went into a white owned store and sort of uh, made some off color remark to the white lady that owned it that was working there. And her husband and f husband's brother or friends I, scooped this kid up and beat the shit, beat him to death. Beat him to death. Oh, and, yeah, then and, then and then some. And then some. Yeah. Is, is, and and didn't she later recant? No, um, but she may be because I think she's still alive. No, she died recently. The is woman that who, what it was? Yeah, she recently. I thought that she, they were going to try to charge her. Yeah, and but she died before that. Before that, is happened. that what it was? Okay, yeah. yeah uh, 
Yeah, because it, nobody it turned, ever got punished. For because it. apparently, he you did, know, and the guys who did it walked. Yeah, no, it was awful. The, yeah. Apparently, from what I understand, is Till never said anything or didn't say anything anything bad to her. She just didn't like him being in the store. Is the way I heard it. Yeah. it, it and you know, different different uh, uh, stuff. I think his cousins who was down there to visit scolded him because like oh dude down here you don't talk to white women that way because you're going to get into a lot of trouble um so i think oh, they've come geez, out go, huh? but they went to his cousin's house scooped him up yeah yeah, yeah. Took so him that's, back not to a, farm. that's not a, a capital offense yeah and even if it was a capital offense you have like you know steps to go through it's fucking yeah. madness well, right right I mean, it's and that's why style. vigilante shit is not better no right and no. yeah i don't know and the only yeah. you know if Bad. anything that's good can comes out of that the, the, fucking the mom is what it allowed was. the press to come in and take pictures of his brutalized body yeah, yep, yep. and they shared it in national magazines which brought a huge attention to the civil rights movement and sure. the treatment of yeah. african-american folks uh down south so yeah geez because then it was only another um yeah, fuck. another <laughs> 10 years, years yeah. before nine That's years exactly. before the yeah. civil rights yeah. and then yeah. yeah yeah but speaking of national legislation yeah right, right yeah well it all started in fucking 18 say 66 <sighs> when we when in, didn't andrew johnson just stop the uh reformation and all that shit he right? just called it quits just stopped yeah 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 and just let the southern races take back yeah. over yeah. Right? That's when it started. Right. That's how we got a hundred years of Jim Crow. Right. Right? It's just what the fuck is wrong with people? Yeah. Clan and everything. I don't else. get it, dude. Yeah. There's not a day goes by every time I go to Fred Meyer. I, there's a lot of reasons I just go, who in the fuck is not into black women? Right. How could you be mad at black women? What is fucking wrong with you? Right. Yeah. Dude, go to Fred Meyer. You'll see what I'm talking about. The fuck? <laughs> Man, <laughs> mic drop. <laughs> well, uh, speaking of civil rights and stuff, six, 1963, this is the anniversary, I think it was Sunday, uh, of uh, Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech oh, geez, uh, during the March on Washington, right? Um, back then. And in 67, uh, Thurgood Marshall was confirmed as a Supreme Court justice, and he was the first African American uh, Supreme Court justice, right? No, oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, Jeez, then that's not that long ago. That's not that long ago either. Right? Yeah. Yeah, because like civil rights in 65? Yeah. Right? So, yeah. 60. Jeez, the I have a dream speech seems like a long time yeah, ago, yeah, yeah. but that is yeah. uh, 17 years. No, that's seven years before I was born. Yeah. Bummer. Jeez. Because yeah, so, it's in black and white, right? Right. So it's like. Yeah. Yeah, and it would be 68 ago. when he got assassinated, which was only, what, two years before, yeah. or a year before you were born? Yeah, two. Two years? Two years, bummer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, in good news uh, this oh, week hey. in history, 1980, Christopher Cross uh, got his first of two number one hits with Sailing, Sailing. Take Me Away. <laughs> My mom, where I'm going. my mom had that record on repeat. Oh yeah, <laughs> back in the seventies, yeah. or, or Todd's early eighties. Todd's guilty pleasure. <laughs> no, that's not one of my guilty pleasures for sure. I, I, I mean, I don't hate his music, but yeah. I don't like. I don't go out of my way to listen to it. Nobody does. Yeah, nobody does. The funniest thing, uh, it was related to Chris Christopher Cross, was uh, a Seinfeld episode where it was like almost the turn of the century, or was getting close to two thousand, and. Chris Kramer says uh, he's throwing a party because he had booked Christopher Cross years ago to play the 2000 <laughs> New Year's Eve party that he was. <laughs> Did Christopher Cross make an appearance on the no, episode? No, he wasn't on the episode, but it was just a funny thing because it was like, yeah, he was the, all the shit back. I mean, he was huge. It was huge. And not a great looking dude. I mean, no, yeah, he, Christopher he, Cross. He was but. like one of the, one of the, like the, one of those singer songwriters who, who, just look like a pile of steaming hot shit. Well, <laughs> no, I'm, I was just saying, I'm kidding. <laughs> I knew I was going to get a reaction out of you guys. No, <laughs> I, I was just thinking he's a normal <laughs> looking guy. Uh, Maybe a little, you know. Yeah, we're going to put surprise <laughs> Pikachu right here. He kind of yeah. reminds me of uh, Vincent D'Orfino uh, from uh, Full Metal Jacket. Wow, well, Denof- Denof- but kind of D'Onofrio with a little more hair. <laughs> yeah, yes, but, and a shorter version. No, he. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm, I'm kidding. I don't think he uh, say hot shit. Say, yeah, my man. mom. But that's the problem I have with him. He could look like anything, but it's 
the just the saccharin, right? It's like, <laughs> dude, you, you, you know what? It's lollipop so sweet goodness. that it can't be real. You it's know like, what killed uh, his career? You know what killed his career? <laughs> MTV. <laughs> Because as oh, soon as yeah, they, people yeah, started, yeah. You saw who what he looked Could like. They think, like, yeah, no. Because <laughs> he, he 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 looked like that. He looked like that guy who plays uh, World of Warcraft in the basement of his mom's house. Mike's oh, like yeah, you're dumping like, extra sugar in your yeah, cherry cola yeah. and dipping in lollipops. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what was his okay. other song? It was sailing in. Uh, uh, right. That's right. Oh yeah, that's, 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 that's the song from yeah, Arthur. Arthur. Yeah. Oh no, it's not. Is it? Oh my. God. God, that's the crossover. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 the song that was like the theme song to Arthur with uh, with uh, oh, uh, man. with uh, wow. uh, 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 what's his, the guy who played Dudley Arthur? Moore. Dudley yeah. Moore, thank you. Yeah, I can't remember who directed Arthur. It's just weird. Yeah. What the? How, I wonder how much Chris Christopher. I can't say Criss Cross because there was a, yeah, a yeah, hip hop yeah. group, yeah. group, but uh, I wonder how jump, much Christopher jump. Cross is bringing in from from those two. Albums. I don't know. They it, were he's huge. probably not bringing were, anything in today. Right? Because oh, it was radio know. hits too yeah. for a minute there. I don't listen uh, to any stations that would play it. No, no I would. I don't know. How I don't think any stations Maybe play easy. that kind of music. But easy listening was a thing. That was huge. It was yeah. a thing. Yeah. That it's was like Delilah and the yeah. And there's whatever. like mass cocaine use on so, one <laughs> side and easy listening on the other. It's there's, like America well, is a vast, <laughs> vast place. And back in the in the eighties, VH1 was the video. Um, music video network that played Easy Listening. It was no, oh, was it? It really? was like, like Kenny G and Christopher. Oh, VH1. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but oh, now, man. now it, they 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 have they ten years ago they had a show called That Metal Show where they had interviews with like heavy metal you know, like Jeez, well, there you like go. like Why like uh like um. You know, um, shit. Of course, started talking about oh. it. My brain freezes up. Oh. Um, well, metal artists. You know, metal god. Um, renowned. Um, Rob Jun- Halford. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice. Jun- Jun- Priest, there. Rob Halford. Oh, and yeah. They actually that show is the the first interview that that um, Axl Rose had done in thirty years. Oh, jeez. And they waited. They waited in the lobby of the hotel for like thirty hours for him to come down. Oh my God! Thirty hours? Wait, thirty hours? Yeah, they they came down like the day before, and they hung out in the lobby. No, so it wasn't like a planned interview. No, it was. But oh. he was. He was. I, I'll, be, I, I'll be down in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no, Axel, Axel Rose Forever was chronically late yeah. for every fucking thing. Thirty yeah. hours late. Though. No, seriously. That's a lot. That's, 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 I'm going home. Did you not? Did you not see any of the, any of like when he the last time Guns N' Roses before the band reunited, uh, they came to Washington State. They played it up in Everett, and uh, he showed up three and a half hours late God. for the concert. No, and then he blamed. The city of Everett for turning off the lights in the stadium when they, the show uh, at eleven o'clock when they normally oh, turn geez. off the lights. Wow! Yeah. He's like, yeah, we, you know, they should turn the fault. lights off. It's all their fault. Not uh, mine for being no, late. I've never seen it. I don't want to. I don't want to know it. Well, well I can't I wait till VH1 it. does a behind the music for us oh, here yeah. at our town podcast. Yeah. yeah, that's uh, they don't do yeah. that show anymore. But yeah, that'd be They're great. They're bringing it back, back up. Yeah, just for us in about ten years. Ten years, maybe five. 1983, uh, the first African American in space, uh, U.S. Mm-hmm. astronaut Gian S. Bluford Jr. I hope I got his name right. Uh, was the first African American to travel up into space. Was on the one of the Challenger missions and, and oh, was the uh, flight commander, I think, or flight specialist, something like that. But he went on to do at least three or four more uh, flights Jeez. up into space. So uh, good. And on all him. of the manned ones were shuttle at that time, right? Yeah. We didn't have any yeah. manned anything else. That I'm I don't part. think so. I don't think. We the, I bet the Russians did because yeah. we did spend time going up with those guys. And stuff. Yeah. Sharon Trump. Uh, ten years later, 1993, uh, Late Show with David Letterman debuts oh. this week. 93. Um, <laughs> what? That doesn't seem right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it seems late. Er, early early yeah. 90s, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 2005, we talked about this earlier, Hurricane Katrina. Um, oh, yeah. I uh, was uh, dating somebody that was originally from New Orleans, so I got to go down there right before Katrina, and I got to go down there right after Katrina. And it, yeah, I mean, just fucking nuts. 
God, no. Wow. Yeah. Driving through the oh. neighborhood, like driving yeah. through the Ninth Ward and seeing those X's on the doors where they they have the code for bodies inside or not inside, you know, kind of thing. Yeah, it's just bomber. fucking gnarly, gnarly stuff. Um, and then in 2021, oh. the last U.S. troops uh, got withdrawn from Afghanistan after seven years after the war was declared over. But fuck, what, 20 years yeah, it was 20, 20 years yeah. from yeah. when we had boots on the ground. Yeah, Jeez. Wow. Just crazy. I got a lot of mixed emotions. Yeah. Thing. But, uh, yeah, we also have $9 billion in hardware back, so we arm the Taliban. Yeah. Well, the, 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 yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I, I'm not going to comment on it. I, we needed to get out. I don't know if that was yes and no. the way to yes do it. Yes and no. He kept the Taliban out. They had yeah. 1,500 guys there or something. That's true. Right? Yeah. I don't know. But, it, but also imperialism i don't know if that's imperialism that we were just acting at that point we, I, I don't know kind of because we still had our thumb on the fucking scale right yeah but that kept the taliban out. that's all i know right it's like yeah i'm not a fan and you do when you leave especially women and girls but you know just the population at the mercy of yeah. shitheads like that yeah, but they sure, you know, I don't know. They they stabilized it, yeah. right? Yeah. Because they are, and they're not looking to go elsewhere, right? There's no, the, the Afghanistan in this particular They're not trying to take It's not a domino yeah. effect or whatever. Yeah. And I don't like the idea of just having American youngsters, you know, with fucking targets on them all over the right. planet, right? Yeah. But on the other hand, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I got mixed emotions on it. I hear you. Uh, well, guys, we did not get uh, our audience participation. We did not get a uh, advice seeker this week. Oh. So we thought about doing a uh, Reddit post, uh, Am I the Asshole? Yeah. And I think Todd found a couple of them. I, I uh, found a couple of them uh, that, you know, and I figured Why don't you else. pick your favorite out of the two? And uh, well, we'll, I, it was, we'll tackle if it. We didn't, if we didn't have anything pre-selected, I was just going to look. I was going to find one. But... Um, of the two, let's see here. It sounds like we're in a live studio. Yeah, our live, live theater. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, rehearsal of Pippin. Uh, Pippin's coming up yeah. in a few weeks. Uh, go to rentoncivictheater.org to learn more. Get show times, tickets, the whole thing. And you can donate to the lighting system here at the theater. We're trying to get all... LED light yeah, uh, okay. to be yeah. more uh, cost conscious, to be more yeah. environmentally friendly, and yeah, and, and they don't make the fixed the uh, bulb itself yeah, anymore. anymore. So we're yeah, just going so to stop. Gotta upgrade. It's gotta happen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's not the lights theater dot org. And not in the projector room where we're at. <laughs> not close. in the beautiful projector but, uh, room, but whatever. Right. Well, the, the, the one that it. I picked is, apparently was removed, so I'm now going to no, no. find a different one. Uh, let's see here. I've never seen Pippin either, actually. I haven't I'll either. Come by for this. Don't know if I have a desire to. Is it? Yeah, is that a Dickens thing? Okay. I thought it was a Dickens thing. I feel like it's a Dickens thing. So here, the title for this one is AITA, or Am I the Asshole for Eating My Roommate's Food Even Though She Asked Me Not To? Yes, so you kidding. are. Yeah, you don't have to say anymore. Right, 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 this, is, this, is, this is what the story says. This was during my freshman year of college, but that year I had a roommate. Let's call her Daisy. Hi, Daisy. Daisy had some trauma related to food. Uh, there was never any food at home for her to eat because her parents were full-blown addicts. Oh, and money went towards it. And she finally got out. That's not nice. feeding their kids. Me being dumb and too uh, underst and too understanding, I told her she was allowed to help herself to my snacks if she wanted. She took that to help herself to most of my snacks. Like I'd buy a pack of Oreos, and the next day there'd be three sleeves. <laughs> Two of the three sleeves are gone. I asked her uh, to take less of my stash but she didn't listen i told her that she wasn't allowed to eat my snacks anymore because she would either leave nothing or almost nothing just so we're clear she took 70 to 90 percent of my snacks for eight weeks damn not uh not the silent treatment uh got the silent treatment for three days but uh, but she did adhere to the that boundary and stop touching my snacks edit uh i fit i failed to mention that installed a padlock on <laughs> my stash after a week 
I cut the cord on sharing my snacks because I was afraid she would she would go back and steal my stash after I found uh, that she stole someone else's leftovers while visiting their roommate. What the fuck? I don't know. Uh, so she followed she followed the boundaries on her own for a week and then continued after I essentially forced her to. Um, I understand I'm skipping a bunch of shit here because there's a lot. Well, yeah, no. uh, I understand that, I understand that mm. at the end of the day, it was her food and I probably shouldn't have touched it, but I don't think one granola bar was worth a total meltdown. Am I the asshole? So apparently uh, so she, she took one of her food on one after her, locking up her own shit yeah oh yeah no she's a total asshole yeah 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 they're, they're locking shit up even though you didn't know your roommate was your roommate who you have to trust because they could stab you when you sleep right uh yeah and then you did an extra whammy by locking your shit right? i mean that's i think uh, locking it up was it, it was excessive it seems I mean, it, it it says something yeah right? i mean i mean you you they, and that's they, a shared space, right? They, Just because your snacks might be in a certain spot, it's still a shared. You're still roommates, right? Right. It's not like, I mean, it, 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 if they offer to replace it, I'd be okay with it. No. But if they continually eat my shit and then and, and if yeah, it's like you know, and not replace it, re- replace what is taken, taking your money. It, it's one thing to offer money. and yeah. then somebody to take advantage of it. Yeah. That sucks. That's but all that is. On the flip side. She should have never gone after the other, you know, because they never made the offer. You made the offer oh, to begin yeah, with, yeah, right? Yeah. And I get it. And then have the adult conversations. Hey, you know what? I offered you to have some. If you're hurting for food, you know, maybe I can buy you some stuff, sure. whatever yeah. the case is. But, hey, I work hard for this stuff. And I, I sort of planned out what I bought for me. Um, but if you need something, I'll help you out with it. Sure. Right. Um I'm going to post the link to that story on on our Facebook hmm. so people can read the whole. Yeah, thing. and I, I don't know. Did did they also know about that? Um, you know, childhood trauma or whatever. I, I think uh, they probably did. If they knew about that and then and had locked their shit up and made a big to do about you know snack. Well, for, uh, you know rights and it's responsibilities or whatever. I think they were aware of the trauma because that's why they offered, you know, to oh, yeah. let them yeah, have no, it. Yeah, no, I say, I say, and yeah, I mean, not a mega ad. Nobody needs a bullet here, right? I, but, I, I mean, yeah. on a scale of one to ten, I, I yeah. think you're probably like a, maybe four and a half as far uh, as being you're, the you're, asshole. Uh, that in the you're, you're 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 an asshole, but you're not like the worst person possible. Yeah, yeah, you know? like criminal shit. You, right? you could yeah. you could have handled it better for sure, but it's not. Well, there's like, always that thing of of uh, I think Judge Judy calls it the. Doc- Doctrine of self-help, right? It's like, yeah, she took your stuff. You offered. She overtook. So you took steps to stop her. But then you decided to help yourself to something of hers without her offering. Yeah. That's like yeah, self-help. That, and yeah. you never do that. I mean, if you got a problem with somebody, just be a fucking adult and bring yeah. it up to them and say, hey. I've, I've had my roommates say, hey, um, yeah, don't don't eat that. Yeah. You know? Quit leaving hair on my soap, Todd. <laughs> I don't have hair to leave on your soap, yeah, Charles. That's because it's on the soap. <laughs> uh, I live with a couple of roommates. I call them wife and daughter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, roommate. Uh, yeah, but I'm pretty sure uh, I know what share my daughter likes. I don't share a bathroom with none of them. It's yeah, actually no kind of good. Wait, idea. you yeah. don't have to share a bathroom with your I, wife. So we have a small master, lady too, small right? master bath. Yeah. That's mine. Yeah. We have the upstairs bathroom, which has double vanities. That's the girls. And then we have a bathroom downstairs, which is a three-quarter bath as shower and oh. you know sink and toilet. And uh, the kid is moving downstairs, so she's going to take over that bathroom, and that'll uh, she'll have to share that with overnight guests when you know grandma and pop come up and all that stuff. And then the wife has to share her bathroom with our guests, but I've sort of taken over that master bathroom. <laughs> I mean, nobody wants to be in there with my disgust. Ass, right? I mean, let's uh, no, be I, I really like that luxury. And yeah. that is an absolute human luxury to have mm-hmm. multiple, you know. It really is. Oh, fuck. Yeah. 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 But I sure, if that's available, here, here. I would not buy a house without two bathrooms. So, At least two uh, bathrooms. Uh, we got lucky and got three. So. Yeah. Well, I, I have to share, I have to share a bathroom with a teenager. So, um, when I first moved in, there was a little bit of uh, 
of a tug of war between the two of us. Like, you know, I'd put stuff on the counter and they would they would move it and I'd move it back and they'd move it and I'd move it back. Uh now there's nothing on the counter and uh the only thing that is like it's not really it's 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 kind of passive aggressive honestly, but um the toilet roll gets flipped whenever they're in the bathroom. Oh, they, they change it to under under roll under and I <laughs> I, I have it over. Yeah, that's illegal. Yeah, that's illegal. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I'm with uh, you. I, I, I would, would turn her in. Call I, the FBI. I would right I away. would rather have it over than under, but you know, yeah, I don't it's personal. But they they flip it every time. Like yeah. they sit down and just consciously yeah. flip it. Well, I think when they're using the toilet, they would. Rotate it over, so it's that's what I'm saying. But it's like already up, yeah, in the over position. Yeah. They take the time to flip it to the really, yep. Huh. But this is a teenage. Right this is teenage uh, brain. They're 15, so yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. They're gonna be they're gonna be 16 in October. Okay. Okay. Congratulations on that. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, making it this far. It's you know I you know, just sharing space is different. Uh, I, I I just I have I've I've never said anything because I don't really want to I don't want to be that guy who's like you yeah. messing with the toilet rolls I'm buying the toilet rolls blah 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 I don't want I don't want to do that because it's 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 not that important to me it it does kind of irritate me but it's not that uh, important yeah it, it's not important enough for me to say anything but it does kind of bother in me in the people. grand scheme of things yeah well it, I don't know. It, entropy it, can only take so much it, man. It, sooner it, or later everything collapses you do this one too many times more often than not they just leave it, on the, they leave it on the counter next to the <laughs> sink yeah They'll, well that's they, annoying because then it just gets soaked yeah, Sooner or later, and, it, and it has it has yeah. gotten wet. Yeah, and, and that's like what the because then that's just wasteful. Because then you know, I, I don't know about you guys, but the wet toilet paper is a drag. It's a drag. Yeah. It's well, an insult and it, to and all of that good toilet and paper it takes, out there. It takes it forever for it to dry. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, no, that, no, that happened. That actually happened like uh, about this time last yeah, year. Yeah, what did do? they put it on the on the side of the of the sink? Instead of putting it, because the the, well, the, the, yeah. the no, toilet, the fair. toilet the, where we where I put the toilet roll is is, is like a uh, a hanger for a, like a like a bath towel or whatever. So it's it's not like a it's not the the designated spot because part of the reason why I don't have it there is because it's on the left side and I'm right handed and I don't want to be doing this when I'm sitting on the shitter. So hmm. I put it behind me. I can grab it like this and pull on it. Hmm. But uh, but yeah, it's here's what you do, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> just, just some. You yeah. buy the toilet paper, you said, right? I, I do. You go buy, I that buy my cheap they also industrial buy. fucking one ply. Stuff. Nice. No, nice. You know, put that out there and say, look, if you want the good no, stuff, you the, do it my. The problem. You the, do pro- it my way. the problem. <laughs> the, the problem with that is, is, is that's exactly what they would get <laughs> oh, when, they, when they put it in. No, it's awful. Just get a bidet and and the uh, whole controversy solved. Yeah. yeah, those those cost a lot of money. Though. No, they're like forty bucks now, dude. They got those little hoses that connect. Uh, yeah. the the, to the water pipe and stuff. I think I, I think yeah, if, no, I was I mean, to, if I was to get it a bidet for the for the for the main bathroom, somebody would have a problem with it. I think no, I, I'm not going to mess with that. Just but. tell them it doubles as a drinking fountain. <laughs> it's okay. a drinking fountain for the dog. Yeah. It <laughs> and it, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Huh. And, and with me uh, sharing space. As long as somebody's not in the bathroom with me, just like in the kitchen. If I'm cooking and somebody's in the oh, kitchen with me, yes. I'll lose my shit. Yeah. I, and I've had to share bathrooms before, <clears throat> and it's not my favorite well, thing. It, and the, <laughs> the, other, the other thing that has <laughs> happened is uh, they have one, you know, those uh, hangers you put on the back of your door, and it kind of goes over the top of the door. Sure. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I have one of those in the bathroom, and so the bathroom door doesn't, if you don't push it, and like, make sure yeah. that it locks in place. It will pop open. And I was in the shower one day, and they decided right as I'm getting out of the shower to, and was grabbing the towel, they came right in without knocking or anything. <laughs> the light was on. Dear it's, penthouse forum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh wait, no, no, she's 15. Never mind. Okay. Uh, yeah, exactly, dude. That's right. that's it's beyond not okay. But uh, yeah, it was just like she was like, oops, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> oops. Get out. <laughs> oh, man. 
Yeah, no, I'm I'm with Mike, man. Anybody comes into the kitchen while I'm trying to cook, if somebody try to come into the bathroom when I'm brushing my teeth or yeah, something, just no. not into it. No, just like business, Out. Dude. This yeah. is my space yeah. right yeah. now. Just for a couple of minutes, bro. Yeah, it's all cool. I need. Yeah. yeah. Any other time? I know. No, yeah. One time in Amsterdam, I almost had to throw down with this dude because I, oh, I just wanted two fucking minutes, and I was not in the mood, and he was a dick. Yeah, it was kind of a shitty in the bathroom. Yeah, in like a shared space. It was in a hostel. Yeah, like shower room. Well, I was like, dude, I need two fucking minutes without anybody fucking with me. I think the only time I've ever gotten angry with uh, with the, the teenager with the bathroom situation is like I was coming down the hallway. You could hear me walking down across the house. I was coming down the hallway to use the bathroom. I'm fifty years, fifty something years old at this point. My bladder's not that great. So I was trying to get to the bathroom before my bladder was like, okay, we're done. <laughs> and, uh, is that what it said? <laughs> yeah. And, and they, like, they, they, McConnell's brain. they, no farther. <laughs> out of here. They, they legitimately come running out of their bath, their bedroom, which is like two doors away and ran into the, into the bathroom. Oh. I was like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Just cut in front of you. Like, yeah. I'm like, pee, dude. It, yeah. That's when you bust through the door after they say, <laughs> oh, yeah. face it, we're younger and faster. And you're like, I'm older and I have more insurance. <laughs> it's like, no. I was like, no, no. It's like, if you don't hurry up, I'm just going to go pee in your bedroom. Well, you can't do that. That's I, I said that I wasn't going to do yeah. that, but I said that. And yeah, do you have a fenced backyard, dude? That's what God made backyard. I, that's Actually. kind of what I had to do because I, my bladder was just yeah, not no, going to wait for them to okay. finish up. Plan, yeah, plan well, back to our advice. <laughs> I think we're just staying. Yeah, no, don't you know, steal your roommate's shit, period. Yeah, dude, don't yeah. ever take anything right. without being offered yeah, or if you ask and they say yes. Um, yeah. And, I, you know, I'm, you, I'm, you tried to be a good person and... and Allow them to dive in your snacks. If you don't like it, just be an adult and say, "Hey, yeah, it's too much. It's too much. Just too much. It's thirty I, bucks I, a week in snacks yeah. you're eating, bro. I Knock say, it out. I say, at the very, Oreos. at the very least, you should replace anything you've taken. And that's what I try to do. Sure. I don't always have the opportunity to say, "Hey, do you mind if I have this?" Because it's late at night and they're asleep. So that's. I mean, I kind of, I'm guilty of of taking sure. my roommate stuff no, on occasion. Yeah, I'm but turning my back. To I my, I usually, uh, but I'll I'll yeah, replace it. My roommate's it. my old lady. And, I yeah, don't know. I, I my roommate's yeah, not taste. my old lady, so yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, I replace it whenever I've if whenever I've eaten something that is not mine. So just buy some really weird snacks and then eat theirs. So you're like, fuck, mine are right here. You can eat these, <laughs> but for everyone in big bold letters on fucking weird Spanish peanuts with Dude. fucking wasabi. Or okay, <laughs> you know what you think that you think that's funny, but that's the, that's the, that, wasabi peanuts. That's the kind of stuff one of my roommates actually does get. Uh, well, the, if, are they so, into it or it just sits there taking? No, up I think they the actually are into it. The, the, like every year, whenever they get like ha- Halloween yeah. con candy when they get halloween candy they always go to like this i guess this is a like a like a wajamai or something here in rent and they get all the weird like <laughs> off-brand from, candies yeah, that are like from, <laughs> candies from like japan and fucking like Beirut yeah. and shit you yeah, know just, just love weird it, dude. Yeah. weird stuff that yeah. should not be labeled candy period yeah. nice. and, well, it's and, and, and they're like <laughs> and, and, and the last two years like every time it's like i don't know why nobody picks this stuff is like because they don't know what the fuck it is <laughs> my daughter just had her uh 13th birthday party had oh, a bunch sure. of kids over and she it was kind of a hello kitty theme thing so we went over to uh world market and they have a ton of like hello kitty snacks right it used to be a hell we didn't know over at the it's South still, Center. uh it's down over by where staples used to be across from the great wall okay. um, sure. but so we bought all these like the anything hello kitty right we're buying sodas and all this stuff and we, it was like what actually Actually, in the fuck is this? It ended up being these little rice rolls, like, uh, and they were actually pretty good. Hey, like, talk about rice, oh, no, rice candy. Like a- no, hundred dollar a week, candy, Jones, but... for these. Uh... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've got a bunch. I should have brought you guys some. It's just a, a different uh, palette. Yeah, typically, which yeah. I really like. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. Not, uh, yeah. And it, as far as like you know, because that I mean, in our top five later, yes, is a, a guilty pleasure. Guilty, and pleasure. one of mine is just tasting weird ass foods. Nice, it really is. Nice, uh, nice. All right. Well, do you guys got anything uh, positive to end this here thirty-seven on? Um. 
Anything new? Uh, Mike, I've, I've seen the first season in three episodes of uh, The Expanse. Oh! Yeah, I got the whole first remember season Remember the cat? In. Yes. Oh, yeah. Remember the cat? Um, and they, they've got the new ship, the, the Martian little gunship yeah. shuttle. But I guess yeah. that's like this, that's going to be like the setting for the rest of the series, yeah. right? Yep, They're yep, on yep, that they're, ship. They're, they're, so. yeah. Yep, the Rossi. Uh, um, it's a good boat. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I really like, I know the effects aren't, you know, they're good. Sure, sure. They're good. Uh, and the first couple of seasons are Sci-Fi Channel. Yeah. Before Amazon. Yes. Amazon throws more money at it. But I like uh, the way that, and I don't know what the propulsion is for these ships that they're in, um, but I like the fact that when you see like the shuttle disengage, that they have the little, uh, the little jets that sort of push it into into position and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yep. it's, it's really well yep. done. Um, the acting's good. I yep. uh, like the characters. I was surprised that that medic guy got killed in the first season. Yep. I thought he was like going to be yeah. on the show no, yeah, for no, a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get attached to... Uh, Friggin' head yeah. taken yeah. off, man. Oh, it's Crazy. Just by, yeah. hey, spoilers, guys. I haven't watched. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it, it, I like it because it's uh, hard enough science fiction. Right, because we're—I mean, it's all really plausible. Yeah, they do a great job. Yeah, um, and the characters are cool, and the politics is cool. The action's good. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I really enjoy it. Yeah, a yeah. Lot. episode yeah. three dropped yesterday for uh, Ahsoka, and uh, oh, I thought uh, it was yeah, today. All right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, out on Tuesdays. Tuesdays oh, at oh, six p.m. Oh. Pacific time. Yeah, jeez, good job. Thank Watched yeah. the yeah. first one and was I was liking it. it so. Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed it. And there but. was lots of references to uh, well because. One of the main characters is from Star Wars Rebels. There's lots of references to the show Rebels. Actually, there's two people yeah, from Rebels. Yeah, the Twilight, right? Uh, the Twilight, yeah. Th- well, three, yeah. considering uh, her, yeah, yeah. Twilight, and the, the mayor of the town is also from Rebels as well. Oh, all right. You know, uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the guy from Shawshank. Yeah, yeah, the, Clancy, yeah, Clancy, yeah, Clancy, Clancy Brown, Brown. Yeah, he he was also the Kurgan in in the in uh, in um, the Highlander movie. Yes, oh yes. yeah, and yeah. No, that guy's been and and also, in Bad Boys yeah, with yeah. Sean Penn. He's, yeah, he's also, that's right. Yeah, he's also Mr. Krabs on um, SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh, he's Mr. No. Krabs. Yes. No. Really? Yes. yes. Did not know that. That's, that's great. Dude, is, it, the, one of the funniest interviews I ever saw with him. He was like, "Yeah, didn't you know?" And he does oh, the voice. Oh my god, that's great. <laughs> and he's like, these people are walking up with like. Eight by tens of the Kurgan from like 1986, oh, yeah. and you know there's people up there with like SpongeBob merchandise, and they're nice. like, "What the fuck is this?" Oh my god, yeah. that's yeah. wonderful! Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got his autograph on my Shawshank Redemption oh, poster. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he was yeah. also he was also because yeah, he's gonna throw him off the roof at one yeah, point, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was also the oh, sergeant on uh, on the uh, um, the yeah. movie with the bugs. Yeah, Starship Trooper. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, that guy's been he's done great. Yeah, yeah. he's, he's been a lot great. of stuff. Yeah, does he do conventions? Anybody he him does. Time? Yeah, jeez, because he's a cause yeah, he's he's, a, well maybe we'll, uh, next yeah. year. We'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, I mean, I I haven't heard of him being at like any of. Well, actually, no, I think he has oh, been to yeah. Emerald City. He has been to Emerald City, but not SummerCon yet. So. Nice. Maybe we'll get him this year, next year in SummerCon. But yeah, no, yeah. Clancy Brown um, makes an appearance as well as uh, like the other two characters from from uh, from Rebels. And Mike was saying he thinks that uh, the, the yeah, the, I don't want to spoil this for anybody. Well, I, just, I I feel very, 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 very confident. Yes. I I I want to talk about it though because it's it's not necessarily true. We just it's a it's a fan theory at this point, right? It is, yeah, absolutely. And uh, theory is a tough word. Then, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Well, the the the, 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 implies... the mystery the mystery Sith Lord yeah. that we see actually would he would we would he I don't know if he's a lord, but he's a, or or he's a he's got yeah. a red sa- lightsaber. Sure uh, yeah, but, that's right. And he's but, obviously a force, uh, but, the force powerful. Right. Yeah. Mike seems to think that it might be Ezra. It is for sure. Yeah. It is for sure. I, I don't know if, I, yeah. I, 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 it could be a cool twist if it was Ezra, yeah. but I don't think it is. Yeah. What do they call him? Have they named him at all? Uh, he does have a name. I don't remember off the top of my head. Yeah, he has a name. Okay. But, uh, you know, it's, it's I don't po- know that they did. Uh, uh, no, he, he, I've yeah. seen posts about it. It's okay. like, who is this mysterious such and such? And yeah. I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, because uh, the, there's no word spoken from him. Um, he doesn't uh, say anything. Yeah. He's about the right height for Ezra. Yeah, no, I'm telling so, you. So, I mean. And he's got a mask on. He's got a full and, face mask. And what was the, uh, the, the lightsaber that the uh, Inquisitors use with a yeah, spinny, the, spinny the, thing? Yeah. Those are really kind of cool, actually. Well, are the. 
Inquisitors, because I don't know anything about them. Uh, are they turned Jedi, or did they start from scratch becoming uh, I don't really evil? Know. I don't really or know. I thought I thought all the Inquisitors were just Sith, but okay. maybe they're not. I don't yeah, know because you know. can't have that many Sith, right? There's always two, though. Yeah, but these, but there was more Inquisitors than two. Well, they're yeah. So I don't. I, yeah, I'm are they sure. just force sensitive? I don't know. Or were they Padawans that they took they, over? Yeah, because yeah, 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 the, the, the Inquisitors. Well, inquisitors was, Anakin kind of took care of that Padawan question. <laughs> oh, not Padawans. He just the younglings. The even younglings. worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah even yeah. worse. Yeah, Jeez, well, Anakin. No, and, and they, they, he, he was either in um, Rebels or was in one of the other animated right. shows. But they basically the Inquisitors will steal younglings. Okay, there and, you go, and, and make right. them. Right. You know, yeah. Make hmm. them. But I, I, I think it's an interesting take that you have. Oh, yeah, no, no, I, I could see it. I, I could see I, it. I, I, I think the old that would be, been around the block, kids. The, I think that would be cool to find out. That they, you know, it, that this is just and an so idea. And so we're going to get it back is the question. I, I think right? it, what's going to happen is this is the kind of thing you, I would expect to happen anyway. There's going to be a huge battle between uh, between Ahsoka and uh, and uh, uh, Miss Ren. And uh, I can't think of her first name right now. Um and and the the Inquisitors and that character that you think might be Ezra, and I think there's going to be a fight. No, it'll so, be Ezra versus uh, the new Apprentice kid. Okay, for so sure. they're like besties. They're, Those two are besties. besties. So yeah. yes, yes, so, it's my point. They're gonna they're gonna fight, and, yeah. and he's gonna lose, and then she's gonna take the mask off to see who it is, and she's gonna find out she just killed her best friend. Yeah, I, I think or Thrawn's gonna end up with him. Right, I yeah, think, he, I think he the might, two heavies right now. He might be are, Thrawn's apprentice. Face, I think he's going to end up being Thrawn's heavy. Hmm. Yeah, right. So he'll be a, a constant uh, thorn in the side of yeah. Soka and her apprentice. I'm, I'm really looking forward to next Tuesday because yeah. this last episode was was short, I think, and it was just like why why are they inconsistent with the length of the episodes? This uh-huh. this bothers me because like the first two episodes were one was like 45 minutes, one was no almost 50 minutes, and this one was like 37 minutes. Mm-hmm. I'm like. It just it feels it, it felt like we were shorted like you know. Twenty minutes. Yeah, it, 20 it, could minutes. Have, it could have been twenty you minutes longer. Be twenty minutes. Could have just been twenty minutes of Ahsoka in the shower. We would have taken that, right? Rosario Dawson naked. Sure. Yeah. I'm. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not objecting. Yeah. But, I, I, I like the character. Yeah. yeah. I'm in. All right. Well, uh, I've got a quote here quote that goes something. with our theme of top five. Well, our top five guilty pleasures uh, in our bonus round, which you could see if you go to r townpodcast dot com and sign up for the members only section. It's only three dollars a month or thirty dollars a year, Incredible. and you get all kinds of stuff. I just posted another uh, blog today, so uh, get in there and check it out. Uh, we beseech you. Um, so yes, tonight will be our top five guilty pleasures. And for that, I found a, uh, quote by none other than Dave Grohl, um, who was talking about guilty pleasures. And he said, uh, quote, I don't believe in guilty pleasures. If you fucking like something like it, that's what's wrong with our generation. That residual punk rock guilt, like you're not supposed to like that. That's not fucking cool. Don't fucking think it's not cool to like Britney Spears is toxic. It is cool to like Britney Spears is toxic. <laughs> Why the fuck not? Fuck you. That's who I am. God damn it. The whole guilty pleasure thing is full of fucking shit. Dave Grohl <laughs> for president. I know. <laughs> Honestly. Everybody yeah. likes that guy. I really, if you like something, like it. Don't not yeah. like something because you don't think other yeah, people are. Yeah, and it's yeah it wasn't just it's not just a punk thing it's also like any any music snob is gonna gonna be like you, you shouldn't like that because that's lame that's you're a poser oh, you know, blah 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 yeah. so now there's that yeah. I'm gonna go but, but that's there's oh, yeah. listen to my Britney Spears yeah. records no, I don't think I've ever Britney, listened to Britney Spears in my life but it, I just uh, was never around I'm gonna go upstairs and listen to my Britney Spears records <laughs> yeah. right on people but, uh, really like that lady yeah. but you know ah mm-hmm. oh, poor kid there was yeah it was, it was definitely a, a metalhead thing where if you you, if you liked certain genres of metal, then you weren't a real metalhead. Unironically, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I just always yeah. consider that kind of a hip poser. Thing where poser gotta, was used uh, quite a bit back in the eighties and nineties, as far as like. All right, well, there also were plenty of fucking posers, but yeah. and that wasn't because they liked something. That's because they were just fucking not being real. Yeah, right? it's like. Yeah. 
Yeah. But yeah. Anyways. All right. You guys got anything else for this week? Well, uh, I'm going to try to make it to the Dead Baby Bikes uh, Clubhouse for nope. a day because they're having a get together and ride. Nice. So. Nice. Yeah, Jason, that should be fun. Yeah. What about you, Todd? Anything coming up? Um, Something was happening this weekend, and I can't remember what. It's three-day weekend in this country. For you in Indonesia um, and around the world, you might not get the Labor oh, Day, yeah. but we got Labor Day oh, this yeah. weekend, Day. so yeah, we got geez, three believe, yeah. days. Isn't like one of the big festivals happening this weekend, then? Yeah, it's Bumbershoot or something, isn't it? Or no, uh... By to yeah, Seattle? It's bumper shoot. Or it's either by to Seattle yeah, no, or bumper shoot. Bu- yeah, it yeah. would be bumper shoot. Yeah. Which well, I think is like $50 yeah, dollars a day or something. Folk- right? What? Yeah, folk yeah, life is the other fucking, holiday. Yeah. No. I don't know, Labor Day what, is a big deal. When yeah. did they start charging for that shit? Because I remember I mean, going to that I for free. I think bumper shoot's expensive. I'm not positive of that. Oh, my God. I, my I, of course, I haven't gone since the 90s, that, but, but yeah, I remember going to those things for free. Yeah. And folk life. And you paid out the ass for food, but it was really good food. I guess it depends on what you want to see. And I mean, bumper both of them. They have tremendous amounts of other stuff besides the big stage acts, right? Like art I mean, I, and I, small film and Bum- writers. Bumbershoot also has comedy yeah. too, though. Yeah, which I is, bet it does. Sure. Yeah, st- I mean it's all art, all kinds of and art, stand-up comedy and music, and and yeah. there's I think there's even like fil- uh, the Seattle Film Festival has something happening I'm this sure weekend I think, too. Yeah, yeah. but um. Neat. Yeah, yeah, right across the street on Saturday, we've got the food trucks here in Renton, right? Oh, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. What day is that? Saturday. Oh, geez, right? that makes sense. So, yeah. I kind of forgot about that. To so come on down to downtown yeah. Renton and get try out some food trucks. going to be truck. a bunch of them here. Dude, today. I wonder if the Scooby Van will come to, to Renton. Nice. Uh, it's not okay. actually called the Scooby Van anymore because it, Warner Brothers went after them. Oh, man. Uh, they, what, not, do they sell like Scooby snacks. Well, they, or they, they had a they, uh-huh. their food truck like a mystery machine. Their looking. food truck looked like the mystery machine, uh-huh. and they they had like hot dogs. They sold like uh, <laughs> uh, Puerto Rican style hot dogs. Oh, uh-huh. I'm in. And uh, I wonder what that and, means. And I don't they, know, but I'm in. Yeah. They and actually, I think I sent you a link to the, their uh, their uh, their Instagram at one point because I was like hot link, hot link, ha ha ha. But uh. Um, mm-hmm. Can but yeah, I, no, they, they they had to change their name uh, from Scooby Scooby Dogs to like Spooky uh, Dogs because uh, they, the copyright infringement. Did of, they get to keep the mystery machine look? Well, the 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 van got repainted, so it still has the same color scheme, but it looks different. Sure. It's well, like the that's orange and yellow. Them, that's what a copyright is. Let make a little money. I know. Jesus. I know. So it's small, small, bu- small business trying to, you know, I guess, attach itself yeah. to something that's but been around for 52 a, years. Yeah. yeah. 50, actually, no, 54 years now. Jesus. It came out yeah. in... It's 1969 is when okay. Scooby Doo first started. If you are an aspiring uh, food truck purveyor and you want to use our town podcast, we can work something out. <laughs> yes, uh, just can. give us a call. Even or if you can. Email even if we're an existing, yeah. What would our what would our food truck have? It'd just be like everything, right? Be good. I, I, you know what? I the one food truck that I like. I wish I'd grabbed a little business card or something because they they made the best grilled. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches up. Oh, jeez, I've never had a grilled peanut butter jelly sandwich. Oh my, in my god, life. it was like a panini it, with I, no, peanut it was, butter and jelly. It was, it was. I don't know what a panini is, but it was, it was a like a grilled cheese sandwich. But instead of grilled cheese, it was peanut butter and jelly. You're blowing my mind. It was absolutely Crazy. fantastic. Yeah. I'm going to be trying that. I didn't. What I don't kind know. of jam though, or jelly? Yeah. Um, I think it was just strawberry. Yeah, but yeah, strawberry is my jam. There it is. I, you know what? I my my no stepdad when I was a, when I was a kid, my stepdad introduced me to. Because uh, I was all about peanut butter and jelly when I was growing up, I still love it. But yes. um, he he introduced me to like you know you toasting a, some pieces of bread, and while the bread is still hot, you put on the peanut butter and it starts to get a little gooey. Then you put on the the jam, but not just two pieces of bread, three, and it's like really fucking good, and it's what really really bread? messy. It's like a peanut butter jelly Big Mac. Yeah. So you just have a yeah, wow. I don't know. I've done that with grilled cheese, where you add an extra slice in yeah. there, so you get the ah, extra. But layer. instead of instead of cheese, you just you put on the peanut butter and let it get all a little bit melty, and then put the the jam on top of it, and then yeah. then you like have to like <laughs> then you have to clean up the like mess afterwards. Mike's running home after this, going, yeah. "Honey, I know what we're having for yeah, dinner." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. It's, I, yeah, it's so I just good. Made grilled cheese a couple days ago. So uh, it's too yeah. soon. What kind of cheese? Up. What kind of bread? Uh, this was uh, the Fred Meyer 
you know, bakery sliced garlic. The baguette? So, yeah. No, it's a loaf. Loaf. Oh, but, yeah. But my knife at home, it's the dullest <laughs> bread knife. So you of all crushed time. the loaf? It's like chunks. It's, just, it's like a barbarian just went... <laughs> It's it's. I so just cut it with my uh, teeth. And I'm at Fred Meyer at least once a week. Yeah. Right? I could pick up another knife, but it's never, never a top of mind. Ever on the list. Yeah. And I yeah, forget yeah. every time. Yeah. So what you should do is text, your, <laughs> text yourself saying, "Remember yeah. to yeah. get a new I'm knife to cut." Right now. New <laughs> what knife. kind of what kind of cheese are we throwing on? That uh, I do. I always do like extra sharp or super sharp cheddar. I usually do uh, yeah, goat cheese, sharp down cheddar. the middle. And then smoked provolone. Okay. So I that's did. the triple layer there, right? So it's provolone, provolone, uh, cheddar shredded, right? Yeah. And then a go to. Nice. But yeah, actually, I think while that's, good. I, that, that's definitely what I'm going to eat when I get home, is I'm going to make myself one of those sandwiches because right. I haven't had one in forever. And I hadn't thought about that in forever. And then I had yeah, no, tomato soup. Oh. With uh, uh, And then I in mine, I put a little bit of sour cream. Nice. And uh, the Tabasco brand. Um, uh, chipotle pepper sauce, mm. smoked chipotle. It you is had so. You had me a tomato soup. Oh, hey. fuck, it's good, dude. Yeah. It's now, good. Now that we have a thousand followers on YouTube, oh, yeah. maybe we should try start. Um, maybe we should try to start doing like live streams while we're recording. Because we, you can, no. can do that now, I think, because no, we have a thousand followers. Yeah. yeah. If, if I hold a bottle of Tabasco, will they have to pay us? <laughs> Uh, no, but Tabasco. no, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but they 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 might they Probably might monetize our video, and yeah. then we won't get any money oh, for it. Well, it. Yeah, that's worse. They'll get the money. But uh, Tabasco, I would do ads for you, and Cholula either, yeah. right? Because they both have delicious yeah. smoked chipotle pepper sauce. Uh, it's so I don't, good. I don't spicy. Oh. Yeah, and it's not terribly spicy, and no, you really it's not, can't. It's just a little kick. It's right? just a little, um, yeah. and it's not a. It doesn't attack you. Right, it's much more subtle, and like even just a dash, like in a bowl of soup, if you put two drops in. Seriously, pico oh. de gallo is a bit much for me. Man. <laughs> I'm such a I'm such a weenie when it comes to spicy stuff. <laughs> Try your next one. Uh, last one I made was brie nope. with a little balsamic. And grilled onions on there. Nice. That was, oh, that's a sandwich. And sandwich. you could throw a little, a little uh, yeah. turkey or something on there too, ah. if you want a little meat in there. But geez, no, that's a nice sandwich. Yeah. All right, you guys are making me hungry. Let's end this sucker and uh, come back and do our bonus round. For those of you who are willing to uh, pay us a tiny bit and uh, stick around, do it. Uh, the rest of you suckers will see you next week right from on. around Thanks the world. Uh, yeah. We appreciate you. Yeah, each and every one. Each and every one. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And if you think this episode is worth a dollar or five bucks, the boys would love to have it. Please go to ourtownpod.store for merch or to donate now. For less than a cup of coffee, you can also join the website in the member-only area for exclusive bonus content, blogs, and more. It's just $3 a month or $30 a year. Thank you for listening to this production of Our Town Podcast Extraordinaire.